Alrighty, and with that, we are officially live. What's going on, everyone? Good evening, good evening, or early evening, I guess you can say. As, uh, yes, we are live here again here today, uh, doing another Animal Crossing uh, New Horizons uh, stream. Uh, not an afternoon one like I've been doing the past couple times, but uh, a bit of like a midday kind of like stream. Um, I thought I'd come on because we have a lot of stuff that's going to be showcased here today in the game. Uh, for starters, um, we have not one, but two new villagers moving in. Uh, the one you guys saw uh, on stream, he was an eagle named uh, Keaton, and uh, he officially moved in yesterday, but uh, I haven't officially talked to him yet. Welcome him to town. Uh, so this will be my first time actually walking around saying hello to him. Uh, and then we got another villager that moved in, because I remember if you guys remember, I did put a house uh, just land, just put randomly somewhere by, uh, I think it was, uh, Bo's house. Um, so, yeah, and then they moved in, I think, today, and it's, I looked up who they were, and their name is Butch, and they are another Franker Z, yes, another doggo, I think they're supposed to be a cranky doggo, so that's funny, so we have two dogs living in our, uh, in our town now, so... Um, I thought the idea is when you put the, uh, the land down, that it would be that... Um, once you decide who you want to move in, they take that property, but apparently that's not the case. I guess how it works is it's like, it's like basically all the other Animal Crossings. Like, you can put stuff down there, or like, random people just move in, take land, and whatever, so. Uh, same thing applied here. Uh, so I will not be really inviting a lot of, uh, villagers to my town until I get the, the ones I'm looking for, basically, so. Um, and I did check if I can find villagers just randomly on the island when I have no houses on place. That's not the case. Um, they don't show up on the island until you basically have land to sell, basically. Uh, the only way I'm going to be able to get who I'm looking for uh, is via the, th the tent right now. And that depends if I got anybody living in the tent as we speak, but I have no clue if I do. We'll have to log in to see if we have anybody living in the tent today. Um, because there are amiibo functionalities and stuff like that, but apparently they're glitched and broken right now, and they're not working properly. Uh, I don't have any amiibos cards for this game, so I, regardless, even if I wanted to get the town, uh, to have the, uh, specific villagers that I want, um, I'm still looking for technically three of them, since I have three, uh, Three, three t uh, villager slots left in my town, because uh, I think you can have a total of ten villages in your town. And uh, I only have three slots left for who I want in my town, so I kind of have to be a little bit picky for the next little bit here until I find who I'm looking for. So if I do find people off cast and all that, I will update everybody uh, when I do these streams when I got this next person or whatever. So I'm still looking for a Kid Cat, I'm looking for a Scoot, and uh, I'm also looking for another villager. It's a squirrel villager as well. Um, what was their name? I forgot what they were. Their name was, hold on, I gotta Google it here for a minute here. Um, their name was Philbert. Yeah, there we go. Their name's Philbert. Uh, the reason why I want Philbert is because uh, they are apparently uh, this character here's uh, favorite villager in their Animal Crossing New Leaf Town. Because if you don't remember, uh, Audie is based off an actual person. And uh, apparently they had Philbert in their town. They mentioned that that was their favorite uh, villager in their play in their game. So I thought it'd be a cool idea to actually try to um, get Philbert to move into uh, into my town or I guess island, so then she can have her best favorite neighbor, I guess, or villager, I guess they can say, and they can be neighbors and whatever. So I kind of have to look around and see if I can ever find them and whatnot. So yeah, another thing is that we also got the. Um, uh, the Mabel Sister Shop today. Yes, the Mabel sh Sister Shop has officially opened. We're gonna go and visit that, uh, because I know a lot of people have been wanting some, uh, outfits and stuff of mine that I've been wearing, so I will be putting some stuff up there so people can actually get to it if whenever I do my next multiplayer, uh, stream of this game. So, uh, there will be ways that you'll be able to get it if you need to. Um, another thing is that I also upgraded my house last night. And uh, so I have the next room here. You guys didn't see that on stream, but I did upgrade my house last night because I did a, uh, uh, a tarantula hunt. And, uh, well, from the night before, not last night, but the night before. And I had enough to pay off my uh, my uh, my next bill, basically. So, yeah. And then I did a uh, major large tarantula hunt, which I think I went a little bit overboard. But you know what? I think it's gonna be good for the long run because it's gonna give me a big ass payday, and I'll show you what I mean. I, what I mean by I went overboard 
for tarantula hunting. So, because if you guys don't know, um, that is like one of the big ex exploits to do in the game right now to get money in this game is to uh, go tarantula hunting because the tarantulas apparently sell for a very high price uh, compared to a lot of the other bugs and fish in the game. And it's been like kind of the easiest thing to, to find and whatnot. You just go to an island at around 8 o'clock, maybe later, depending. Uh, so it's, it varies for some people. So for me, it's been like 10 o'clock p.m. And uh, you go there, clear everything, and then tarantulas just randomly appear. Not on all the islands, but a specific amount of them uh, show up and whatnot. So, And yeah, I went and did a pretty crazy hunt last night. I did two, yes, you heard me right, two tarantula hunts last night. And then I f evened it out, uh, my totals, at my uh, in my village, because I found one just running around. And uh, I brought my total up to 80 tarantulas. So I have 80 tarantulas to sell today. And uh, I'm hoping I get a specific person visiting my town today. Um, because if they're here, I'm making absolute bank. I did some math and whatnot. And if I sell all 80 uh, tarantulas to him, I'm going to get a total of 960,000 bells uh, made <laughs> today. But if he's not here today, that's okay. We can just sell at the next cranny, which will still get a lot of money though. But... Uh, not as much as we could get because uh, apparently he sells, he buys them at a 150% uh, more price compared to uh, what you sell uh, at the Nook's Cranny in the daytime. So uh, we'll see if we got them today. I don't think so. I, I, I tried selling them last night at, an, at a uh, another person's town. And uh, unfortunately, uh, you cannot sell bugs to Flick, who's the, the guy I'm looking for, by the way in uh, another person's village. It has to be in your own village, unfortunately, so... Which is unfortunate, because I would love to have sold my bugs to him and get that out of the way with, but unfortunately... Unfortunately, it's not that simple. You kind of have to wait until he's uh, in your town in order to sell him stuff, which is too bad, but... Oh well, at least we tried. I, I experimented to see if it would work and whatnot. Unfortunately, yeah, it, it didn't work out in the end, so yeah. Um, and during one of my tarantula hunts, I should also mention, I had one of the worst experiences during one of the tarantula hunts. And I'm going to showcase that. If you do, don't follow me on Twitter, I posted a whole chronological thing about this. And it was, oh god, <laughs> I hated life for a little bit. Um, so I'm going to see if I can remember which one it was. So I think this is the first one. So there was this villager that was randomly here on this island that I was trying to do some tarantula hunting the other day. And uh, his name was Rocco. He was a, he's a hippo. And, uh, I had probably the worst island layout here. This is the Spyro layout, and the Spyro layout is absolutely the worst, probably, I have learned when it comes to, uh, tarantula hunting, especially if you have a villager on here. My, my advice, if you're doing tarantula hunting, and you have a villager, uh, walking around in, in, a, on it, on your island, and you just, and it's a Spyro one, honestly, just, just leave. Just, just go find another island, because it's not worth it, because... Good lord, do the villagers like to get in the way? And uh, I'll show you what I mean by that. So yes, as you can see, uh, I was just trying to get some tarantulas. There was one right there. I was trying to go grab this one. He's The tarantulas came after me, but what happens? End up hitting the goddamn villager instead. <laughs> so meaning that the tarantula could just randomly walk up to me, KO me, and then I couldn't even get a goddamn tarantula out of him. And that was not all. There was more. You think, oh, that 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 can't be all. That, he, that that that's that's not the worst thing he could ever do, right? He he seems harmless, right? No, no, there was more. Um, I was getting tarantulas. This guy, I got no problem here. This was fine. Um, but after this one, I, watch this. I, I I can't believe this here. So I was just counting to see how much I had space left or whatever. There was two, two of them right there. I was trying to get my net ready, and then I ended up talking to him. I'm like, get out of the way. I'm trying to like mash the button to make him stop talking, and then. I couldn't get through him here, so I'm like, oh, I can't get to them. And then what happens? He walks to them. They go into the water! Into the water! I can't believe it, dude. And yeah, yeah, I tried to get another photo, but yeah. Or, or uh, film it. But yeah, look, they're in the, they fell into the water. They're dead. They're gone. Zip. Gone. Never to be seen again. Oh, I was so mad. And then... Um, this happened, I was trying to go and get this, oh wait, this is the same one, yeah, sorry, that was the same one, um, which one was it, 
where was it where was it uh i think it was here right yeah i think it was this one so yeah and then i respawn literally right out then i re then I, actually well i didn't respawn here this is i went looking around for a little while because after that then they fell into the water i couldn't even find them for like the good little while here and then this happened and this is where i was like oh god my oh my god <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> and this I didn't post on social media, but man, I was so fucking pissed. I was like, oh, are you kidding me? This is the worst island I've ever been on when it comes to these tarantula hunts. Like, I don't understand what happened there. Like, are you kidding me? Maybe it was just Rocco's presence just being there caused that to happen. I was so salty. I was getting really salty. If I was streaming this while during this night, I was probably going to be the saltiest sailor ever. I'm not even kidding. Like, I, I, I'm not even kidding. I was getting so angry. And that's not all. There's more. <laughs> There's more. I think this was it. I think this was it here. Uh, no, I was pushing him out of the way. There was something. Hold on. It was either here or it's another clip I made. Let's see. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of just clearing out bugs or whatever. Trying to find tarantulas. I think I finally found one here. Yeah, yeah. I finally found one here. What stops me here? His goddamn fireplace. <laughs> I'm like, I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't with this game right now. At this point, I'm like, are you serious? The fucking fireplace can stop you from getting tarantulas, it seems. I, I'm like, oh my god. Nothing is allowing me to get freaking tarantulas right now. I, I, I was absolutely at a loss for words for a good little while there. And then... This happened. I saw a tarantula just by him. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go grab this. I, this is after I literally just responded to from that. I run all the way around here. Thankfully, in this instance, this time, no bad luck ended up happening. But then he gives me his sympathy and claps for me. This, this, this mofo right here is happy that I caught a tarantula. And I'm sitting there like, I don't want your sympathy. And you know what I did to him? You know what I did? I saw that and I was like, I looked at him. I looked at him for a minute. Or a few seconds here. And I was like this. <laughs> I turned off his fire. Never turning it on for the rest of the time I was there. And you want to know what the funniest thing is? He stood there in that spot for the entire time when I was there. So he didn't move a muscle. I broke his spirit after that. <laughs> so yes, uh, Rocco, um, he, he's no longer allowed in my town. So he's been banned from ever living in Beat Town. He, he, will, he will not be welcome to my town after all of that. So yeah, but then yeah, I ended up getting all my tarantulas. There they were. Um, I was probably there for probably three hours. Three three hours and which normally it takes like an hour or two just to do this no i was there for three and i was like i'm done for the night after that so i i like i i, I went and i went and got this sold them and then sold them the next day because i sold them in the daytime and i made some good money and then i actually upgraded my house basically so yeah <laughs> so yeah that was basically the worst uh night of uh of tarantula hunting I've ever done and then the next day I did really really good actually this was the next day I did two of them I went to a bamboo island which was phenomenal and then another one I did was not that layout it was just a different layout it was just a lot of water all over the place it wasn't it wasn't a um it was just I think it was just a normal island and yeah honestly I'm so glad that uh he didn't show up or I got better layouts too because man I'm just gonna go ahead and say it if you get a spiral island with a villager on it when you're doing your tarantula hunts. Like I said, just just leave. I know it's a waste of a of a ticket. Just just leave. Go spawn another island. It it's honestly just the worst. It's the worst experience to do tarantula hunting. Just just want to clarify that. Just let everybody know that it, it's the worst. It's the worst. Anyway, so let's uh, begin our day here in uh, Beat Town. Uh, we like I said, I haven't touched the game at all today. Um. Like I said, we got a couple new things here today. We got two new villagers that moved in today. Well, one yesterday, one today. And then we got our Mabel sister shop that's also opened up today too. So a lot of things, a lot of things. And yes, here's Isabel. Like I mentioned, uh, Isabel actually uh, does the, uh, the morning announcements. 
Hello there, everyone, or evening announcements. Right now on Beat Town, it's 6.49 p.m. on Tuesday, March 31st, 2020. Now for today's announcements. We have a new friend on our own. Let's give a big Beat Town welcome to Butch. Yeah. Congrats, Butch. I'm sure you'll enjoy island life here. Also, the most wonderful thing happened to Beat Town today. The Able Sisters tailoring shop opened. The tailor shop will have all the fashion items you'd expect, as well as a custom design gallery. This is a great chance for everyone to enjoy new styles and maybe start our own Beat Town trends. And of course, we'll be holding a special ceremony to celebrate the happy news. If you're interested in participating and have the time, please check in with Tom Nook at Resident Services. That's all for now. I hope you all have, have, enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Thanks, Isabel. <laughs> you're the loveliest of lovely. Just want to say. <laughs> so, Andy, who's worse, him or Zapdos? They are probably at equal ends. All right. I got a phone call. All right. All right. I, I sold a few things that I was I got when I was looking for my last tarantula in my town, and I made twenty k last night, which was pretty cool. Made twenty k uh, last night. And that was not tarantulas. That was just like other other stuff I found. Which was pretty good. And yes, as I mentioned, we upgraded the house again. So as you can see, we have another room now, which is awesome. Which is freaking, freaking awesome. So yeah. Uh, yeah, there it is right there. We have another room here. Um, this is probably going to be my kitchen maybe here. I think. Um, this could, Yeah, this might be my kitchen here. Uh, in this room here. So I'll start working on my kitchen at some point. So yeah, I'm very, very excited. Uh, to, to have this, and I probably will be able to upgrade my house again here in just a moment here if I get enough money for it. So yeah, uh, let's get our Nook Miles here. 6,880 Nook Miles at the moment, so yeah, very nice. Um, I think next, I believe, we're getting upstairs and downstairs next, I believe, so that's exciting. I'm very excited for that. Um, so yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I found this coffee mug in one of my store, my store the other day. I believe it's customizable, so I can put any design on it on it right for it, which is cool but that's uh, not gonna stay there i'm actually gonna move it to my other room over here that we got the other day uh which is kind of trying to replicate my actual room here which is still a work in progress but uh, i've kind of have gotten it working like how i want to want it to look like and whatever so um i'm still looking for a desk where i can put a tv or maybe a computer if there's that in the game put my switch on one of the desks as well and then i'm looking for like a wider uh what should i call it um a, uh, a wider uh, dresser and putting it right here. So yeah, so I'm trying to make it kind of look like how my room actually is IRL that you see when I have my webcam up on my streams and whatever. So yeah, uh, I don't have a mirror. I just put that there because I do have something beside this. It, it's my laundry basket, but uh, yeah, that's kind of what that what is there. And what's up, uh, Staff? How's it going? Needs more duck stuff, Andy. What do you mean? I think it's perfect that we got in here. <laughs> and yes, if you, if you always wonder what that picture is by my my wall over there, uh, if you ever seen my my actual room, that's what that is right there. It's a Blue Jays logo. That's what that, that that's what that is right there. So, in case you're ever curious what was up there, uh, that's what that is. So yeah. Um, and then I know I don't have like a, a dresser here, like a like a closet here or anything, but uh, this is just here to resemble the closet basically. So that's kind of the idea with that. So, yeah. Um, I need to make one of the walls blue, and then the other one's like a, uh, um, uh, I, don't, I, I don't know how to say this color, like, beige, I guess you could say? So, like, I don't know if that's even possible to do in this game. Probably not. So, you're probably only limited to one color. So, um, I'll have to do something that will work, that will look just as good and whatever, but, uh, I'll have to look for that. Um, I wanted to make a, one change here on the wall. Uh, it's with the Blue Jays logo. I need to move this out. I, list, I, look, I was just looking at it, and I have to put it just right here. Yeah, that's where it goes, right there. So, yeah, so there you go. So now, yeah, I need to get, like, a, a desk and all that. I wonder if the Nook Cranny's got one today, so we'll have to go look at that. So, yeah, um, we'll take a look at that. But that's kind of my, my room at the moment. So, yeah, that might actually move. I might move that downstairs, because that's where I actually sleep. <laughs> so when I get it downstairs, maybe I'll move all that stuff there and put it in the downstairs when I eventually get that. So yeah, I want to show you guys. I went nuts the other uh, last night doing a tarantula hunt. Look at this. 80 tarantulas. 80. That's how many I have in here, right? <laughs> That's a little crazy, isn't that nuts? That is absolutely nuts. So, 
I was looking up some things, and I read about this guy named, uh, about, uh, this guy named Flick, who apparently, I was told that he comes around and, uh, he sell or he buys, uh, bugs off of you for higher prices or whatever. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna see if I can find him here today. If he's in my town, that's awesome. Um, if he's not, that's okay. Um, I can always sell up at the next cranny, but, uh, I won't get as much as I would like, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, uh, I think without further ado, let's, uh, go outside for the day, and we'll see what we got. Let's see what we got here today. Alright, I'm gonna open up my mailbox here, and, uh, ooh, we got a few things here. Happy Hona County. Congratulations to, to celebrate the new addition to your home. Please accept this gift of some furniture. Best of luck as you set out on your new kitchen adventures. Ooh, they actually want me to make a kitchen. That's cool. Nook Incorporated. Dear Annie, as a new resident, uh, resident moved to, to a plot you set up as a small token of our appreciation. We've put 10,000 Nook miles into your account. We hope, uh, we hope you spend them on something that makes you happy. Cool. And then we got something from Bud. Captain Andy, what kind of workout routine is your house doing? Are you pouring protein shakes on the, on the siding? Uh, because I can't believe how swole your place is getting. Uh, here's a little housewarming gift from Built Like a House, Bud. <laughs> well, thank you, Bud. We'll see what we got from both of them here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so first we got uh, a present here. And uh, it's a rice cooker. Cool, uh, so I can make rice. And then what else do we got here? A simple kettle. Wow, I literally got a bunch of kitchen stuff here. That's cool. That's actually pretty hype. That is very hype. <laughs> um, let me just go take a look here. Let's we'll, we'll throw this stuff in here. I also got a recipe here that I don't really need, but you know what? We're gonna go send it to somebody because I'm, I'm sure they really, really would like to be able to learn how to make this. But uh, just give me one second here. I just want to see what these look like. All right, all right. What else we got here? Hey, a rice cooker. Who wants rice? <laughs> All right, um, let's see here. Uh, I also got some, uh, let's see, what is it here? I also got a, uh, a stand mixer. I got a, a stovetop espresso maker. Espresso maker? A pop-up toaster. I got a spice rack. And I also got a dish drying rack as well, so cool. I got some good stuff when it comes to, uh, uh, the kitchen that I, I plan to make at some point. I'm just gonna throw it all in here for the time being. What's up, uh, Takata? How's it going? There we go. There we go. Uh, there we go. And there we go. Alright, so yeah, I'll definitely get like a dishwasher at some point, some, uh, some tabletops, an actual table, actually. Actually, I could actually, I do have a table, actually, so I, that's actually out of the question. I already have that, so let me actually put that in here real quickly. All right, let's see. I'm going to put, I actually have a table in my inventory here. Uh, where is it? Yeah, right here. An ironwood table. There it is. And we're going to put that in our, uh, in, in our, in our kitchen here. I think this is a good looking kitchen table, I think. So I'll just need to get some chairs and all that stuff for it. And yeah. That's that's that basically. So yeah, uh, but yeah, this will be a work in progress at some point. I'll make my kitchen look epic as hell. Kind of like my washrooms looking pretty epic as hell. Uh, I guess I'll show that again here, in case you haven't really seen it that much. But yeah, it's pretty epic. My washroom is pretty epic. Not much has changed. I put a little light in here, which looks cool. I definitely need a bath mat right here, cause that'd be cool. And then maybe a bath mat right there. I think that would look cool. And, uh, yeah, got some albums right up here, too, which look great, and, uh, yeah, it's, this is kind of my washroom, basically. It's looking great, actually. I'm liking it, liking it. I'm liking how it's looking in here, so, yeah. Okay, do I have anything else I need in here? Nope. Alright, so. Alright, now we can officially go outside for the day. Uh, we're gonna start up today going to do our Mabel sister, uh, shop's, uh, grand opening. That'll be the first thing I do today, is to go there. Because we got that today. But also, as you can see, we got a new villager here today. But first, I'm gonna actually get rid of this tree because it's kind of in the way. So let me just do that. There we go, perfect. It's kind of blocking his house. I don't really want that there. Um, get rid of that for a second. Where's my shovel? There you are. Put my, uh, my axe right there. 
as well. Perfect. Okay, um... I need my shovel. There we go. Alright, so now that his house has been fully constructed, we can actually, uh... Get rid of some stuff here. Actually, maybe I'll, uh... Put that right there. There we go. Uh, and then we'll put, uh... A fence right there, actually. Or, you know what? Nah, get rid of that. I'm trying to even this out here. Yeah, that looks good right there. Perfect. Very good, very good. I'm, I'm okay. I just got done taking an exam. Oh, really? I hope you did good. Oh, uh, well, I guess we don't got Flick today. We got her. Sahara. She's here today. Which is unfortunate. I still have yet to see Flick in my town. I've gotten Sahara twice. I've gotten Wisp twice. And I've gotten, uh... Uh, the, the seagull guy twice as well. So, yeah. Uh, oh, let me grab this guy. This is the last day this guy's available, I believe. So, I want to get as many of these guys as I can. Because they sell for a good price. Okay. You made an 85? That's pretty good, I'd say. I'd say that's a that's a that's a passing mark or grade technically. All right, we're actually also gonna cut down some more trees here. It's because it's kind of the trees are kind of in the way here at the moment. We have a lot of trees here. All right. Oh, I didn't want to sit on that. Oopsie. Uh, there and there, perfect. When's Persona 5 Royal? Not for a little while. That was up a chain. I was going. It won't be for a good while. Alright, but yes, look at that, guys. It's here. The Able Sister Shop is here. There it is. We finally got it. It built and finished yesterday. That's great. That's very Pog Champy. Um, but first, we're going to have our ceremony to uh, be hyped because we got, got it now, basically. Yeah. Well, hello there, Eddie. Just like that, your home has another proper room. That's another upgrade to an even cush uh, cushier lifestyle. Which brings us to the cost of your remodel. That'll be 758,000 bells. Hmm? Ah, yes. Please make your payments using the next stop ABD feature as you've done before. One oh, other thing I should mention. As part of the home customization service available to you, you can now order replacement doors. Ooh! Changing your door will change the vibe of your home, so I hope you give it a try sometime. As always, it's always been so nice to doing business with you. Yes, yes. Alright. Okay. Let me just take a look at my uh, thing here. Got some uh, Nook Miles. There we go. Uh, I just want to see what we got in the, um, in the Nook Miles today, because that changes a bit. Uh, ooh, 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 I like that. You know what? I'm gonna get some brick fences, actually. I like, I like that. I like that. You made small progress in your new leaf town? Awesome, awesome. What's your town called, by the way? What's your town's name? In your new leaf town. Let's see here. Uh, I don't think anything else. Uh, this stuff changed. Yeah, this stuff didn't change. Did not think so. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. That's, that's okay. Um, I think I'll buy a, uh, a, uh, I might, I might do a tarantula hunt today. I might. So I'm gonna grab myself a Nook's Miles ticket here, as well, on top of that. Definitely need to spend my Nook Miles on, um, on some decorations and stuff at some point. I have some ideas what I want to do, but I think that might have to wait until I get the, um, the permit, so then I can actually customize a lot of things. So, yeah. Alright, I'm going to talk to Nook first, here today. Alright, how can I help you? I want to hold a ceremony. Oh, you want to take part of a ceremony, Eddie? Right now, we'll t we would like to celebrate the grand opening of the tailor shop. Interested? Yes. Splendid. Let's get started. Orushi? It's cold sex gave you the idea? Oh, I get because Oreo and sushi. That's a good idea. That's a good one. Wow, that's a lot of... Wow. <laughs> Good job, Keaton. We can see you. <laughs> Good job, my guy. I see you. I see you lurking behind that tree there, dude. <laughs> now then, welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Beat Town's brand new tailors. Thank you. 
Thanks to everyone's tireless efforts, Beat Town is developing wonderfully. Yes, yes. At this time, we'll have some brief comments from Mabel and Sable, who will be running the, the tailor shop. Ladies, if you would be so kind. Thanks to everyone, we've been able to open such a lovely shop here. I'll work hard with my sister Sable to make it a nice place for you all to visit, so be sure to stop by. Yes, please stop by. Me. Oh, I like them. <laughs> Mabel, Sable, thank you both so much. Next, a few words from someone who made a, the many valuable contributions so that Taylor shop could be built. Take it away, Andy, our resident uh, resident representative. Anything got to got to add? We're amazing. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Andy. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo, get ready to press the circle button. Alright, here we go. Yes, well then. With our hope and continued growth and celebrate Beat Town's beautiful tailors. Hooray! Alright, there we go. Yep, there's Butch over there, yep. He's another doggo, <laughs> so we have two doggos in our town. Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Uh, please do take care on your way home. Alright, yes, yeah, so we will go visit Butch here in just a moment. Uh, but first, we're going to go to stop at the uh, the, Ab the Able Sisters shop here. Because I want to go and take a look at this. This is something I've been waiting for for a good while. <laughs> a good while. Hello, Mabel. Hey there! Welcome to the Able Sisters, where we, we sell fashions made lovingly by Claw. Oh, hey, it's the great spot finder, Andy! Thank you for making this fantastic location for us. We've decided to put down roots here on Beat Town and keep selling our clothes and accessories. Here, let me give you a quick tour of our shop. Okay, so when you first walk in, you'll find our recommended items right here, front and center. We charge these up every single day, or change these up every single day, you know? To keep things fresh. Then over there to the left, you'll find our mannequins. Uh, they're dressed up into whatever seasonal outfits we're into. We change them up time to time, rather than daily. Still, we hope you'll be inspired. And of course, if you see something on the mannequins you love, you're more than welcome to buy it. Which brings us to the brick wall. Here you'll find custom designs brought in by our customers. We'd love to display your designs, of course. And if you want any of these designs, they're yours for free. Speaking of custom designs, next to the wall displays you'll find our custom designs portal. You can use this kiosk to order designs from creators all over the world, and even share your own. And the last thing I ha want to tell you about is the fitting room. It's on the right side of the shop in the back. This is where you can try on anything that's available from the sale that, that day, including all of the color variations. Our display space is limited, so the fitting room is also the place to check out items we couldn't put out. Yeah, the fitting room is really great, and it's a terrific way to see how an outfit is coming together. I think that's everything. Wow, I guess I get kind of chatty when I'm talking about the shop. We're open from, from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., I hope you'll, I'll be seeing you in here lots. Oh, you definitely will be, because you know what? I want these. This is the first thing I saw, and I want them. Yes! Awesome. I got my 3D... Ooh, wow. That's a cool looking shirt, actually. Right there. That skull shirt. That mannequin is looking pretty stylish, isn't it? Anything in particular that catches your eye? I like that skull tee. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's called, that skull tee's pretty cool. Ooh. <gasps> Do you have the glasses? Oh, hold on, hold on. If you have the glasses of, of what I'm looking for, I... I... want to buy the, the, the black... Uh, black glasses if you can. <gasps> They're here! Oh, yeah! I gotta get my... I gotta get... Uh, I gotta get, uh... Bells though to do that. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> That's hype. Alright. First of all, I wanna actually put up some designs here. Uh how do I how do I put designs up here? I'll have to go get some bells in just a minute. Um Is there a way maybe do I do it do it here? 
A world of creativity awaits via the Custom Designs portal. Here you can download custom designs from creators all over the world and even share your own. Customers, customers with the internet access and the paid Nintendo Switch online membership can use it. Would you like to access... Oh, okay, yes, 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 here we go. Alright, here we go. I want to see if I can put my designs up. Now I can play New Horizons in 3D, yeah! <laughs> but I really want those black glasses, that's what I'm looking for. I've been looking for that for a while. Um, post? Please read before posting designs. The custom designs you post can be viewed by other players around the world. Uh, please do not post designs that contain illegal content or m would make other players uh, play uh, players uncomfortable. Uh, posted designs can be deleted from the server if they are deemed to be inappropriate and a violation of the Nintendo Code of Conduct. Okay. I downloaded a shit ton of custom designs today. I have to, I have to look at them. Okay. You are now registered as a creator. Your ID is MA4581-8634-1262. You can check your creator ID at any time from the Passport app on your Nook phone. Okay. Cool. Please select the design to post. Okay. Oh, can I? Oh, can I not? Oh, so I can't bring over the Teddy stuff. Oh, so I have to like design it by hand. Ah, okay. So I can't actually put up my actual stuff. That's unfortunate. I thought I could. Okay, okay. Um, that's unfortunate, I guess. I'll have to uh, I'll have to make them by hand. That might be harder to do, though. I, I will have to say. Damn, that's too bad. I was really hoping I could actually put up my actual design. That's a big letdown. Because before you actually could, so it's interesting this time around you can't do it that way. That's interesting, that's interesting. Okay, um, anyways, I gotta, I'm gonna go get some bells real quickly here. Somehow, maybe Billy sabotaged me so that I didn't have to put the teddy out of it. That's, that, that's what I'm going with, at least. I understand. It makes sense. But anyway, let me go grab my funds real quickly because I did get some money in my uh, earlier from uh, from selling stuff last night. Not not that was not the uh, the tarantulas that is. So I'm gonna go grab it. Let's see here. Uh, ABD. I'm going to withdraw my max amount right here. Perfect. 700, eh? That's gonna be a lot. That is gonna be a lot of money. But I probably will have enough if I can find the uh, flick in, in my town. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go grab the black glasses now. Let me go do that real quickly. Let me do that. Okay. Alright. Let's see here. Where was it? I like you can get the, uh, the, the poop hat. The golden poop. Ooh. It's a black one, too. Ooh, I like both of those, actually. What we got for shoes? Some loafers? Interesting. Uh, where are those glasses I'm looking for? Yeah, there they are. There they are! Looks good, man. Looks good. Looks good. Uh, Skull T. Let's see. Hmm, I guess you can only buy one design at a time, eh? Mmm. I like the purple one, honestly. I really like the purple one. Those are some long socks. Oh, those are tights. Never mind. I thought they were socks. <laughs> uh... Alright, yeah, I'll buy those. Uh, do you want to wear out what you picked out? Uh, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just going to search my glasses up. Thanks a bunch. I'll go ahead and ship your purchase directly to your storage at your home for you. Cool. All right. Oh, that's cool. They they deliver to your house just like that. That's cool. Sorry, can't talk. Oh, hey, sorry about that. When Sable's really focused, she gets a little, you know, pricky, prickly. 
No talking, only sewing. Oh, whoops! I am happy to help you whenever you need. Just step away from this... this... Seam, seamstress. <laughs> Is she? Hey, Mabes, could you help this customer, please? <laughs> Let's see. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. It was about last. How's it going? So does does nothing else happen here? Nah, I guess not. All right, all right. Okay, so I guess there's nothing going on with that. Maybe it's like new if I have to talk to you like once a day, and then something will eventually happen. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> but cool. The Able Sister Shop is really cool. No lie. No lie. Right, I'm gonna grab my new glasses. From my, uh, from my house. But yeah, that's unfortunate. I, I thought I could put my uh, designs like QR code and then put them on there. That's that's too bad. That's a little sad, but it makes sense, I guess. So you're not stealing from people's designs, but this was my shirt. This is my logo. I made that. <laughs> and thank you for the uh, the follow. I appreciate that. There we go. Nice. All right. Now I have the right color glasses now. Feels good. Feels good. We are good now. Now I just need to get the right hat, which I think I can get from Duel at some point, because he made my hat. And then I'm pretty much me, basically. I've gotten everything I, I could ask for to how I look. Alright. Uh, let's go to the uh, the Nook's Cranny for today. I just want to see what we got here today. Uh, just see if there's anything cool. Ooh, there is some cool stuff, actually. There's actually some cool stuff. I want all of that, actually. The wall clock, yes. I want that for my kitchen. And I really want this as well. <laughs> I want that pot rack as well for my kitchen. Hell yeah. Alright, cool. And what's this here? What do we got? A record box? Oh, yo, actually, I want that too. I want that as well. And we got some cactus. Uh, nah, I don't want the cactus now. Nah, nah. Well, no, 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 I don't want the cactus now. No, 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 I'm good. I'm good. Uh, let's look in here for a minute. Let's see what we got here today. Um, nothing new on that. Ooh, camel wall, blue shanty. I think I have that one. Uh, green. Okay. Ooh, that would look cool as a kitchen. Random square tile flooring. White honeycomb tile. Ooh. I wish I could like display it just to see what it looks like. Cause I think I think these first three could be cool kitchen floorings. I think. Not so much this one. Maybe I'll check this. Maybe I'll check this one. That's what this looks like. Now I just need a cool uh, wallpaper. Okay. So what do you guys think? Should I sell my tr my 80 tarantulas today, or should I wait for a Flick to do that? What do you guys think I should do? Out of curiosity. What do you think I should do for that? Because then I can get like millions of dollars. Flick? Alright, I'll have to wait for him then. Because he's not in my town, it seems. Alright, uh, we'll place this on the floor. Ooh. Ooh, I like that actually. That's cool. That looks good. That's definitely very. Uh, that's definitely a very kitcheny. Flooring right there. So yeah, I like that. So yeah, once I get more of the stuff, I can definitely uh, do what I want with this. Um, actually, I will actually put my pot rack up. Nice, cool, cool. Actually, I do have a refrigerator too, right? I was I was actually gifted that. I should probably put that down somewhere. I'll put that over here, maybe. Uh, I'll put my wall clock up. Um, okay, where was my, uh, where was my fridge? There it is, right here. Perfect. 
Um, yep. And then we'll, uh, put that here. Perfect, perfect. Now, I don't know if I'll use all of this stuff. Most part, most of it I probably will use. But, uh, like... But I definitely need more, like, dressers and sinks and stuff like that. And I want to make something, but I have no idea on the, um... On how to make specific stuff for it, unfortunately. I'll show you. I have the recipe to make it. I just need to know how to make the other stuff. Which I have not gotten yet. You have damn Easter eggs everywhere? Oh yeah, I guess you're ahead of me. You're, you're a day ahead. So yeah, the Easter event starts on April 1st. But yeah. I I want to make this for my for my kitchen. But I can't make it because I don't know how to make the, other, the two other things here. Uh, where is it here? Uh, oh, right here. Perfect. I want to make this the the ironwood kitchenette, and I can't make that at the moment because I don't know how to make a cutting board and a ironwood dresser. Unfortunately, I know how to make an ironwood table, but not the dresser, which is unfortunate. So, I'd like to actually make that at some point because that would be nice. And if I can get a uh, ironwood dresser, that actually would go well with the kitchen too. So, yeah. Um, anyway, let's go and, uh, put some stuff into storage here. What's up, Zach? How's it going? And what's up, Salem? Has Billy been very well behaved? Of course. Right now, he has been. <laughs> I would have to think. I have my automatic washer, that's right. I forgot I have one of those. Um, let's see. Let's actually put my, uh, oh, wrong button. Let's actually put some stuff away at the moment. We'll put my record box right here, actually. actually. Can I put that on top of the, um, top of this? Oh, you can't? Oh, come on. Hold on, let's see, hold on. I gotta see if you can make this work. Hold on. Let's see. Ah, oh, lame. I thought he could do that. That would have been so cool. Lame. Alright, well, I think I'll put my gl my that right there. And I'll put this right here. Perfect. That can go that can go there. And then I guess. Does it actually do anything? Hold on. Let me see. I wanna see if it actually uh if if you can interact with it. Ah, oh, it just shakes, that's it. Okay. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll put it beside this then. Actually, can I customize this, I think? Let me see. Because this was on the table where you can... Potentially you can customize some stuff. Let's see here. Uh, can I, uh... There we go. Let's see, customize something. I can! Alright, what can we customize with this here? Ooh. Oh, cool. That's kind of neat. Cool! So you can put a custom design on the record box. Nice, that's cool. That's cool. May have to do that at some point. Put something random on it. I'll put it right here. Perfect. And then I'll put my globe on top of this here. Perfect. Okay. Um. And anyways, I was gonna put some stuff away. Yo, what's up? <laughs> I love my 3D glasses. I have two different versions of it too, so that's cool. Um, probably could sell that. Yeah, don't need that. I'll put this in storage, this in storage, this in storage. Okay. Uh, brick fence. Right. I was gonna learn this, so I know how to learn that. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I was gonna go sell that. I was actually not sell that, I was gonna send it to somebody. Somebody who would appreciate small boxes.
Oh yeah, I, I forgot. I'm not sure you guys saw this, but I have this kind of toilet now too. That's here. I forgot to mention that I have that. Which is kind of cool. So, yeah. A record box team around in Let's Plays. <laughs> Alright, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Alright. So Rash is getting a box. Oh, I sent her one yesterday. And it was two boxes. Like, it was a box on top of a box. So it was better than just a regular box. But you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna, we're gonna start off the day. We're also gonna, uh... We're also gonna go and send this to Rasher now, because I think she'd very much appreciate it. I think she'd love to learn how to make boxes, you know? Boxes are cool. According to her, they're not, but you know what? Boxes are cool. Alright, um... I will send her this one. Happy birthday. Ooh, not birth. Damn it. Damn it. There we go. Happy birthday. There we go. Cool. A bit it? Wait, what? I do? I, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know who, you, don't know who you're talking to, Billy. <laughs> so I don't know. Okay. Um. Anyways, all right, let me go sell a few things here. At the next crayon. I'm just gonna call it floor toilet. It's easier that way. The toilet that's on the floor. All right, um, let's go with, uh, that, that, and, oh, that, perfect. How much was that gonna give me? Uh, 8,625 bells? Sure, I'll take it. Yeah. An excuse to piss on the floor is what I like to call it, yeah. It's a good way of naming it. <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna go say hello to our new villagers. Our first one being Butch, who moved in today. So we'll go say hello to him. He lives right by uh, by our penguin Flo. And there he is, right there. Ooh, I like his wallpaper. That's cool. Oh, I actually kind of like his flooring too. It's like you're on a highway. <laughs> That's kind of cool. There yeah, you are. Oh, you're my neighbor. Ha, sorry about that. I'm Butch. Now, don't get the creaky exterior fool you. I, if I'm like, if I like you, I'm actually a nice fella most times. Any what's it. I've got a lot of tidying ahead of me. Let's probably some time, uh, some other time. Woof. <laughs> I like his little sweater that he wears. Look at his little sweater. Look at his sweater. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, his little sweater. <laughs> His little sweater that he's wearing. Alright. Flo looks like she's home too, so let's go say hi to her. She's probably like, talking to me again? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Alright. Oh, you st what happened to your bed? I gave you a bed, why aren't you using it? As long as you're here, you might as well hang out, Sha. But, by the by, have you talked to the newcomer yet? I have. Huh? You look confused. Wait up. You do know about the beat towner, the new beat towner, right? Come on, get yourself over there and show off your welcome face. I was just there. Also, where's your bed? I gave you a bed the other day and you didn't, you're not using it? Ugh. Ugh. I'm pretty sure I made you a bed so you can have one so you're not sleeping on the floor like Bud is, but... Okay. <laughs> I guess she's not not using it, I guess. Alright. 
Oh, what's he got there? Oh, he's got his magnifying glass. It's real dark out. Let's chat. Another neat day on Beat Town, old buddy. <laughs> this guy is... I actually am coming to literally like... I like, I like him a lot. He's such a cute bunny. <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> the other day, actually last night, he actually gave me free medicine because I was I had my eyes stung. And he gave me free medicine. He said he likes... He, likes, he has a lot of it on him because he always gets stung a lot. But also he likes the taste because it tastes like blue. I'm like, wait, like blue explosion? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bud's not here at the moment. Uh, thought I saw a whole dog there. I guess not. Yeah, he likes man, which is yep. Oh, there's Bud. There's there's Bud. Looking belt shredded. What's up? Just want to chat. Don't mind me. I'm just keeping up the pace here on B Town. I try to do my a few patrol jogs every day. Every day. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go see if my uh, my garden has grown as well today too. Need to see if that was a thing that's been done. Uh. Yeah, I did a lot of cleaning as well. So a lot of like the apples that were sitting on the ground and everything, I actually cleaned all that up. I believe I did. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did. You got kicked out. You sleep on the roof. On the roof. <laughs> also, hello, Casker Lady. How's it going? Oh, yeah, as you probably have seen, I put a lot of fences around uh, a lot of my villagers' houses. As you can see. So, yeah, they have, a, they have some stuff around there. Money! Alright, um, so yeah, I have a lot of, I put a lot of fences around everyone's houses and whatnot, so just to give them some property. Alright, we're gonna go say hello to our other villager here who moved in yesterday, but we saw him the other day when the campsite was open, and whoa! His place is kind of cool. Could have imagined that a little camping would lead to this. You remember, right? Inviting me to move here when we were hanging out at the campsite? Well, so far, Beat Town totally delivers. This place is paradise, and it's not overcrowded with wannabe French toast chef chefs yet. But, what do you mean? But I, but I am the French toast chef. <laughs> I'm the first one. Oh, you make French toast too? To make me some, my guy. Dude, he's got, he's got a race car bed. That. Ah! Wait. <laughs> it honks. God, damn, he's got not one, not two, but three of them. My goodness. That's incredible. What is that over there? Huh, interesting. That's interesting. He's ready for Mario Kart 8? Yep, I think so. Alright. Can you tell the stringfish stop being a jerk? Um. Hi there, uh, Mr. Stringfish. Um, um, a caster really was telling me that you're very rude and uh, you should stop being a jerk face because um, because I don't know. I know you're super shy and everything, so it's understandable. But uh, she's she's barely mad at you. So if if you ever see her, you might want to give her a present. Um, probably 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 a, a box of cheese, maybe. Um, because uh, yeah, she hates your guts right now. So because she can't catch you. So um, yeah, if you if you can do that, that'd be that'd be awesome. Thanks. All right. Anyways, uh, we're gonna say hello to Audie at the moment here. Uh, let's go say hi. Oh, she's got a little uh, dig spot there. I need to go and uh, get that. We'll go grab all that stuff in just a moment. Oh, she's making something. Again. Yes! You're in the DIY zone. What are you making there? Well, I'm making a pan a, pan a pansy wreath. I dreamt the idea when I fe fell asleep watching uh, Big Leaves in Love. It's about tra uh, trains in love. Oh, one of them. <laughs> Hang on, not important. It doesn't matter if Maglev Mike took their relationship off the rails. Because I'm building a thing. Hey Andy, do you want to know how, how to make the- Yeah, sure. I'm gonna be the first pop star slash fashion designer slash DIY guru. 
So I, I write down all my recipes. All, so I write down all my recipes. So here you go. Oh, well, thank you. Appreciate that. Oh my gosh, Foxtrot. It's so way easy. You'll slap one together in no time, Andy. Well, thank you very much. I'm going to actually learn how to make that now. Give me one second here. There we go. Alright. We got it. Did I get Rocco? No, he's banned from my town. He's, he's not allowed to live here. I'm gonna actually make a sign with his face and says and has a, him crossed out. It says no Rocco's allowed. He's, he's not allowed. He's banned from this town. Rocco? Yes. I'm not sure if you saw my Twitter post from the, the other night. I was doing a tarantula hunt and uh, he's being a jerk face McGee and yeah, he's not allowed in my town. He's banned. I have a whole uh, Twitter moment of it. Hold on, let me uh, let me go grab that. Give me one second here. Uh, I gotta scroll up a bit more. Yeah, here it here it is. There it is. All right. So yeah, here it is. This this there's, there, this whole Twitter moment is a bunch of different parts. It was in the middle of a uh, tarantula hunt. I was in the middle of. The other day. <gasps> oh! She's drinking a little juicy juice. So happy to see you, Bingo. I try to be a good listener. You can talk to me anytime, Bingo. Well, you are a bean. I lo uh, you're you're my fa one of my favorites. She's got a little, uh, I think some apple juice there. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. Yes, I actually I designed her house a little bit different, as you can see. I gave her a, a little garden, because she likes to... Uh, uh, water the plants and whatever, so I actually gave her a little bit of a garden here, and a, and a little apple tree. So, that's kind of cool. So there you go, she's got her own little uh, garden and such going on now. So, yeah, I gave her some space and whatnot for her, for her house and such. So she's got some stuff she can do. For her house. Ooh, we got some stuff there. Okay, I'm gonna go see how much this gar- wow, a lot of stuff is actually grown here. Oh, I'm guessing it was a lot of, um... Yeah, I think I know what those are. Okay, so some of our fruit has grown, but it looks like our our butts have not grown. That feels bad. Um, I don't understand why this row has not grown. This is very, very strange. I don't know why this entire row did not grow at all. This is very, very strange. I don't understand what is going on here. But, um... Apparently, this gr is growing. But this, all of this in the middle here has not grown yet, so I don't understand. I I, I, I am confused. Why this is what's going on here <laughs> with my with my stuff? I don't understand what's going on here. And oh, somebody said. Oh. Looks like someone else said it too. <laughs> All right, so I'll remember being here on this day. This is where two dolans were said. All right. Anyways, but yeah, I don't know, understand what's going on here with this with my garden here. So this side's been growing. There's one tree that's not growing for some reason. They're all the same space, so it's like I don't know why. Don't know understand why this isn't growing here. It, it makes no sense to me. I like, I, am I messing up something or something? Because they're all the same space apart from each other. So it's very weird that some of them are growing, yet some of them are not. And I have no idea what's what's the deal with that. Like, no idea. I'm, I'm very, very, very confused on that. And what's going on even there. Alright, uh, oh. Let me, uh, grab you. Because you cost a lot to sell. I see another one up there, I'm gonna grab him. 
first before we do, I just want to see if we got anyone here. Nope, nobody's at our campsite today. That's okay. I actually really like my campsite being up here. I like that. I'm definitely going to keep that there. That's never getting moved. That's that's always going to be like that. Ooh. There's our, uh... There's that. Uh, hold up. Yeah, and this was this was originally going to be my, uh, my fruit garden here. And uh, it didn't work out either. Because, yeah, this was too close, which I understood. I was like, yeah, that's too close. So then I went over there and moved it. Like, I put, like, one space between each other. So, like, I'd be here. So let's say... Let's say a tree was right here I planted. I'd go one step ahead, and then the other one would be, like, right that. And then when I was going this way, I'd do the same thing. I'd go, like, right here, and then bam. Yet, some of them are growing, and then some of them are not growing. So I have... I have no, 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 no idea on what's going on there. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong with it or something, but yeah. I, or maybe I have too much stuff growing at once, but yeah. I, I don't know what's going on when it comes to that. Eh. Eh. No. Come back. Damn it. I want it. Hold up, I need to get that that butterfly. No, come back. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, where is he? Oh, there he is! Fuck! No, come back! I can't get you, you're out of bounds. No! Son of a bitch. But yeah, for anyone that knows what they're doing when it comes to fruit gardens and such, let me know, because I don't- I have no idea what I'm doing wrong when it comes to this. Is some of my fruit just faulty that I was received or something? Or I planted or something? Because yeah, I have no clue on what I'm doing. Ah, damn it, it's gone. Oh well. Because I, I, I have no idea what's going on. You don't even need to water- yeah, I don't think you need to water them either, so I don't know what's, what's happening there. It's- I'm confused. I'm actually so not- Sure, what's going on there? This one I understand because the spacing is too close. But yeah, I'm like I have, I have no idea. I'm I I'm so confused on that. Oh, what's up, Matrix? How's it going? All right, we took up a thousand bells, but you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna plant a thousand bells. Make another uh, make another money tree coming up here. But uh, I don't have a clue. Maybe I, maybe I have too much stuff growing at a time. Maybe is that a thing? Is that a thing? I have no idea. That's even a thing. But yeah, I have no idea. I am very confused when it comes to that. So I kind of want to make it like a, a farm, so it's not all spread out and everything. Because I think that's kind of lazy work when it comes to fruit trees. Cutting down trees, maybe. Maybe we can try that. Try cutting down some trees. See if I have too many around. If that's if that's even a thing. Could try that. Alright, let's see here. Ooh. Wow, first rock I go for today, it's the money rock. Alright. Are you good? I'm, I'm sifting through the boxes to put them in Pokemon. Pokemon. Nice, nice. Saw you started up a thousand year door last night. Man, all it took for all that Mario stuff announced yesterday was for Matrix to finally play Sunshine. It's all it took. Who knew? And Thousand Year Door. I forgot about that, too. Ooh, I think I have that bug there. Let's see. I'm pretty sure I have this thing. Yeah, yeah, it's a stink bug. Yeah, I already have you. I already own you. Alright. Let's see. Uh, yep. 150 times 2. Perfect. Uh, ooh, have a nice DIY. Cool. Yep, get our next one of that. A thousand nook miles again right there. Perfect. What does that say right there? Plant bamboo shoots. Okay. Which I think I know that all those holes are over there. Uh, by the bamboo 
area I made. That's probably all bamboo shoots on the ground. Okay. Now. I may need to cut down some trees. I don't really want to cut down this foresty area. I really like the aesthetic of this area with all the trees and that. Because that's where the campsite is and that. So it makes the most sense to keep all that. So I'm definitely not getting rid of those. A lot of the other trees down here, on the other hand, can be probably cut and whatnot. So, yeah. Let's see here. Alright, let's grab some, uh, some fossils at the moment. Andy, what you actually saw was Splatoon mod. Oh, he's playing Splatoon last night? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I, I didn't think he'd actually play anything other besides Splatoon. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Edge. Sorry. Alright, there we go. That's another fossil right there. And yesterday I went four for four in my fossils. Like, they were all new last night, which was cool. Hope I get some good luck again here today with my with my fossils. Cause that'll be hype if I do. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna catch this fish and see what it is. I'm curious to see. Oh yeah. It's a black bass. Hell yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. I, I don't need to worry, worry about any of the fish or bugs that are going away this month. Because I got them all already. I have nothing to worry about. Feels good not having to worry about that stuff. Feels good, man. So, I was gonna go see if I could find that one fish Kippy found yesterday. He posted something on Twitter yesterday. Um, about some sort of fish that he found. I'm actually gonna wanna go find that. I think he said it was up up over up over here, maybe, I think he said. So I need to go check that out later on to see if we can find him. So that would be cool if we can get that today. That will be something I will try to do today. It's, yes, it's in the same place as the trout and the stringfish. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What what shadow was it? What kind of what, how big of the shadow was it? Medium. Okay. Cool. Ooh, I didn't mean to dig there. Yep. Some bamboo shoot. You know what? Just for the free uh, thing in my bobber, I will plant that. There you go. No, dang it. Here we go, there's another one. Doubt any of these will grow, but that's okay. I don't really have a lot of space here for this, but that's okay. So that's how bamboo shoots come to be, because of the bamboo. Makes sense to me! You found it on Christie's Island? And she's in the Northern Hemisphere, right? That's if I'm correct? I haven't been to Christie's Town yet. I've not been there. I haven't been to Funky Town. I guess I'm not funky enough. That's okay. I, I'll have to come into her town wearing 3D glasses and shit. Then I'll be funky. Uh, anyways, uh, so let's uh, put this here. There we go. Let's see if we can get any more of these. If these grow, then I'm gonna I'm gonna be really mad because I'm like, how the fuck do these grow, but then not those fruit trees? I would I'll, I'll be really like peeved about that. All right, I'll cut down a tree here. Actually, I want to try something. I saw the wildest shit on social media. I want to see if I can get this to work. You guys won't believe this if you haven't seen this. Pretty wild. Apparently, you can do this in this game, and I'm like, what the fuck? You can do this? And I'm gonna see if I can pull it off. If we got it, if we got any here today. Yeah, here we go. Look at that. That's I couldn't believe you could do that. <laughs> Who needs to run when you can just give him a little party popper like that? Right? Who like who who needs to run from wasps when you could just party pop them? 
<laughs> who who need who needs to run or catch him? You can just do that. That's actually kind of that blew my mind when I saw that yesterday. I'm like, you you can do that? <laughs> my mind was absolutely blown. Yeah, you can party pop the the wasps wasps away. Which I didn't know you could do. I don't know if you could do that in any of the other games, but sure enough, here you are in this game. You can definitely do that. Was that being said here? Hold on. Bunny days on your birthday? Well, happy bunny... Well, happy birthday. I hope it's... It's, uh... It, it, it hops with excitement. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Trying to make a dumb pun. Uh, got some stones and all that here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here's another one. All right, another fossil. Very nice. Boo, you mean. Yay. Hip, hip, hooray. Okay, anyways, um, electric scooter. Place that. Ah, damn it. Gotta turn that around. I hope somebody clipped that, uh, that, that me destroying the beat, uh, the wasp with the, uh, with the, the, the party popper. Cause that'd be hype. Okay. Uh, anyways, I think we got all of our things here. You didn't, you're hunting? All good, all good. I'll probably eventually do some hunting myself. Eventually here. But first, let's go hand in um some fossils here. Maybe perhaps we got some uh and uh, see if we got any new ones. Found an orange island instead. Did you find Ash Ketchum there? And a Lapras. And a disobeying Charizard. Oh, we got some new ones here. How many new ones did we get here? Let's let's take a look here. Uh, actually, make a donation. How many did we get? Two. All right, Trilobite and I don't know. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. <laughs> that's 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 too many words for me. There's something I must show ya? Oh yeah? I'll have to see what you must show. Alright, what do I got in here? I need to look for T-Rex stuff if I don't have- if I already have doubles of it. Nope. Okay. So that stuff can get sold then. We will sell... These- Oh. You, you bitch ass motherfucker, you have come to get your bitch ass motherfucker. Oh, no! Damn it. <laughs> God damn it, I almost had him. What a bitch ass motherfucker. <laughs> uh, I can't believe I died. Yeah, me too. That can I. Alright, but that's okay. You wanna know why? You wanna know why he killed me? Look at all this. Look how many tranches I have. Flick's gonna be bo going bonkers when he sees that. That's 80 tranches in there, by the way. Just to let everybody know. If you're, if you're curious how many that was, that's how many are in there. Right, actually, I'll put away some, uh, some stuff. Oh, is that the, uh, is that what I think it was? Is that what I asked for to be clipped? Cool, thank you, Billy. Unless that was me dying to the tarantula, then. 
Thanks, I guess. <laughs> no, it wasn't the bees. Damn it. Damn it. Well, I guess I'll have to do it again here. Let's go find another wasp nest. Because I'm going to go blow some mines. It was probably the tarantula. Yeah. I figured as much. Alright, let's bring out this. Let's go find some Let's go find some wasps. See if I can pull this off again. Oh shit. That's a money tree. Ooh, speaking of money. Getting a lot of tree branches here. Damn it, how many do I have? Four. Okay, so I can't waste these. Come at me, wasps. I ain't scared of you. Watch out, Doc. <laughs> Don't want to hurt you, buddy. They're scared, that's what. They don't want it. They don't want none. There we go. Hey, hey. That's how you do it. Fuck running away. I could attack them with my party popper. <laughs> Such it's so stupid, but you know what? Hey, it's one way to get away from them. Again, I was my mind was blown when I found out you can do that. I was like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> All right. I'm gonna sell some stuff here real quickly. Got a lot to offer here for you today. I got this dish. Dish, 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 dish. I'm gonna go hoard that uh, that beehive. Yo, nice, big money. Well, not the biggest money I can have, but you know. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna take a look at this. Copy link. Let's see what this is. Hi guys, me! Kip Catchem! And I'm here to let you all know that I'm here to be the best here on the Orange Islands. Neat. I'll give that a like. Anyways, uh, back to my... Uh rocks here. Let's, uh, continue doing this thing, Ema Bobber. Also, I learned that you can't se send people weeds. That's another thing I learned. You can't, you can't send people weeds in the mail. Because the game will think you're doing some illegal drug dealing. Which, understandable. Have a nice day. I totally, totally get it. It's a bad message for kids. Okay, I think I gotta do the one by my house as well, I think. That's the other one. Yeah, I think I think that is the other one I gotta do. Then again, then again I could be wrong, so I don't know for sure. Oh, maybe this one? Did I do this one? I didn't do this one. Okay. I always forget which rocks I've done and which ones I've not. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Two out of context in ten minutes. <laughs> that that's basically my stream in a nutshell. I am the definition of out of context.
Ooh, 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 ooh. I need. I want. Oh, thank you, Billy. I appreciate that. <laughs> now I gotta see if Rasher can pull that off. <laughs> then again, she needs her string fish first, so she's busy with other things. Okay, did I do the rock over here? I'm pretty sure I did, but I'll go take a look just in case if I did or did not. Let's go take a look. All right, not amazing, but not great either. Just a meh rock there. Can I wave at B from over here? Let's see. No, she can't. She, she, she can't see it, <laughs> unfortunately. Hmm. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna put my beehive into my storage. Just to have for backup in case I decide to go and get my eye stung out in this game. Okay. Put my weeds in there as well. Uh, my tree branches, my stones, uh, clay, and my iron nuggets as well. And I think that's everything? Yeah, that's everything. Yep, today's the last day you can get the string fish till December. You hate to see it. <laughs> or unless you go to a southern hemisphere, because I'm assuming they probably get it pretty soon. I'd have to think, right? Or no, maybe not. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what they would be getting or whatnot. Not right at the moment, uh, but eventually, yeah. But yeah, for Northern, yeah, it's gone for like a good, 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 good while. <laughs> which I'm okay with. I, I don't I don't need to get them anymore, which is nice. I've I've conquered the string fish. Where's my net? Do I have a net? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Right. We got our daily bottle. Let's see what we got. To the reader of this message, I thought of the, this DIY recipe while I was waiting for my oven to heat up. Why does that take so long? I didn't want to waste a good idea. So now I'm sharing this with you. My recipe is yours to try new or try now. Wishing you well, Dina. All right, what do we get? Rocking horse. Ooh, cool! I can make a rocking horse. That's rocking. Right, let's see what, what do you need to make with this here? Out of curiosity, let's craft. Wow! Look at that. I can make it my own rocking horse. That's rocking. Oh yeah, I also learned how to make this too, which is pretty cool. I can make this a sheep. Hey, it's a song that reminds me of Smash Brothers, because it's in that game. All right, and I also got a, a pansy wreath. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm gonna go talk to Nook for a second here, because it says I can customize my door. I wanna go and talk to him about that. Real quickly here. I need to talk to him about that. 
tomorrow Dory will be around? Cool. Then I can then I already have Nemo. Now I just need Dory. Alright, hello Nook. I wanna talk about something. Yes, I will wanna talk about my home. Time to talk about your home. What shall we discuss? Well, I wanna customize. For 5,000 bells. Alright, let's see. You said I can customize doors. So let's take a look here. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Wow. Yo. Wow. There's a lot of choices. Holy crap. Got a lot of choices here. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Might have to get a red door. It fits the house a bit more, I think. Oh. I'm guessing after you upgrade it again, you'll get to be able to upgrade the uh, or change the uh, the outside and how it looks. That's what I'm gonna guess. You'll be able to move your mailbox. Oh, really? Oh, cool. That's cool. That was the best thing. You, you just got this game today. It's sick. Yeah, this game is awesome. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying it. Uh, yeah, I'm glad to hear you're enjoying it. I hope your town's turning out pretty solid or pretty cool. Hmm, which one do I like more? I really, I really like this door, actually. This one. This one looks cool. Yeah, I actually really like that one. I think these other doors will look better when you actually upgrade the outside of it a bit more. Like change the how it looks on the outside. For now, that door looks like that's the best one. <laughs> for for what I'm seeing, at least. Thank you, Rockhen, for the host. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah, I really I really like that one door. I just saw, yeah this one. Yeah, that that one fits right now. That one looks good in my opinion. I really like that one. Yeah, how you doing, Rockin? Hope you're doing well. Trying to resist the urge to date spoof and skip to tomorrow where I, I get my house, blathers, and don't know what Oh, I got you, yeah. I, I have never time traveled yet in this game. I, I'm on, like, the the correct day with where I'm at, basically. That's kind of cool. Yeah, so I, I've, I've yet to time travel at all. I really like that door right now. That, that's the one I'm. That's the one that's screaming at me right now. So I might customize my door to that. Not like in the other ones right now, just for how my house on the outside looks. Yeah. So I think we're gonna go with that. Um, is there any new mailboxes at all? No, it's the same ones. Okay. I'm guessing the roofs are the same. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Hope everyone is chipper though. Oh, I'm doing all good. I would say. <laughs> oh, I can't complain. Yay, 5,000 bells. Right there, cool. So tomorrow I'll get my new door for my house. That's exciting. You know what I forgot to check, guys? I forgot to check the store on the, uh, on this thing. Because they have some different stuff. Every day. A rain hat, sporty shades. Only me. <laughs> A lot of the same stuff from yesterday. You guys don't know what I got I had in here yesterday, but it's almost kind of the same stuff. For the most part. Nothing really new there. I need space to remove these annoying trees, and I bought the better DIY tools DIY kit. And you need previous ones from Blathers. Oh, yeah, yeah. I do remember that. Should I send another cardboard box to Rasher? I think she'd really appreciate it if I gave her another cardboard box. <laughs> I think she'd really appreciate it if I gave her another one. Uh, 
me cut down this tree here. This tree is kind of in the way a bit, so we're gonna get rid of it. There we go. We're also gonna use our shovel here. Get rid of this. Do it? Alright. <laughs> I'll do it. I already sent her something already, but I'll do it again. Uh, let's get rid of these trees here as well. There we go. Uh, where is my shovel again? Here it is. Oop. Wrong way. Play some some area over here. A bit. I've been working on some custom stuff as well. A star cap, my favorite Splatoon hoodie, and the and the uh, the hard. One. Oh, the hat with the stripe. Cool, cool. Yeah, I I haven't really made a lot of stuff. I've kind of just downloaded or. Got stuff off my phone and then QR code them onto the game. It's kind of what I've been doing. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna move this. Move this actually. Gonna put it over. Uh, put it over beside here maybe. Yeah. Let's put this here. We're gonna put the both of the vending machines over here. There we are. Okay, uh, let's cut down this tree. Take down a few trees here. For the time. Drinking fountain right here. Actually, yeah. That looks a little bit better, and then maybe I'll put something here. Or actually, I had a better idea. I'll move these two right here. There we go. And then eventually I'll put something kind of like right here so you can like sit on a bench or whatever. That'd be cool, I think. And then once I get another T-Rex set, I'm gonna put that in there. That, if you're wondering what I'm deciding here, that's... Once I get another T-Rex set for the, uh, the, um... The statues and all that. Or the fossils, I guess. Once I finish it in the, uh... In the, uh, the, the museum, I'm actually gonna put another one out here. Which I think will look cool. But what do you guys think? Should I put... Should I have this, how I have, like, this one here? Or should I have, um, what is it? What was the one I just got? What would, what do you guys think would look better? Um, does a stone fence look good? Or do you think a brick fence would look better there? Where the, where the, where the, yeah, the stone one is. Why, um, let me real quick, real quickly. I'm gonna go grab, uh, that balloon there. The stone? Okay. When I saw the brick one, I'm like, oh, that one like, might look better. Yeah, I, I kind of like the, uh, I do actually really like the stone one a bit better. Oh, come back. Okay. Alright. Yeah, nice. <laughs> wow, free money. Gotta love it. Oh, more Nook Miles here. 
Oh, right, I gotta grab this stuff here. Forgot about I did that already. And, uh... Grab that. Perfect. Uh, catch a loach. Plant trees. Ten flowers. Well, I can definitely do that. I have a garden. Let me go do that. Probably should change some of my flowers that are in my, uh... That are in my garden. So I can get some, uh... Some bugs I've not seen. Uh, where's my... There you are. You got Blue. Like a villager. Named Blue. Yeah, Blue. I have no idea when I'll be able to get the rest of my villagers, because, like, like I said, I'm going to be really picky on these last couple. Or, last three that I can get in my town. So I'm going to be very, very, very picky. What's my ranking? Oh, yeah! I was, I was told to go check what my ranking is in my town. So I'm going to go check that out real quickly. Someone told me I got to go talk to um, Isabel for that. I'll go check what that is. You got one star? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if mine's a one star as well. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if mine's a one star. Hello, Isabel. Sorry to, sorry to, to interrupt your novel reading. Okay. Uh... Where do I look for this? Talk to Nook? Alright then, yeah, okay. Oh. oh, I almost forgot there's something Mr. Nook would like to discuss with you about. Oh, right, sorry. There was something I had to do with... N yeah, right, right, right. I forgot to mention this. Um, Nook actually had something to I had to do for him. Hey, I forgot about that. I forgot that that was a thing I had to do. What should I do? Yes, yes, I'll explain the last major task for Project K then. We started gathering feedback from the folks on and off the island. Our focus right now should be improving the image of the island and gaining that all important world or word of mouth marketing. I've asked Isabel to assist uh, with uh, collecting with the feedback, so talk to her for the latest information. I think Isabel will have some good pointers on how we can improve the island's image as well. In short, we need to increase our population, improve the island scenery and turn beat town into the most charming island it can be infrastructure is important but let's plant flowers and use decorations to make the place look snazzy well then thanks for your help hmm? okay so that's what i need okay all right let's see hello isabel as mr nick mentioned i'm leading i'm leading a task force that compiles the feedback related to the image of your island Okay, it's just me, though I have always wanted a task force of my very own. Anyway, I won't bore you with the details now, but feel free to ask me about island evaluations anytime. Now then, how can I help you today? Alright, uh, let's talk about the this here. Oh, wonderful! It seems you're excited to hear about the image our island as I am about to talk about. Well, let me explain how the task force, that's me, collects and analyzes the data for my reports. First, I conduct random polling around the island with residents, visitors, and tourists. Their feedback is, the, is then ranked using a well-known five-star system. The better the balance of natural beauty, development, and decor, the more stars the island receives. That means we need more residents and buildings, proper infrastructure, and well-decorated natural setting. Easy enough, right? But if we can achieve that perfect balance and welcoming environment, our ranking is bound to rise. As it stands, we're currently a one-star rating. Yeah, I figured as much. Folks are feeling like we we still have some room for improvement. Allow me to, to read an expert from the feedback I, that I gathered. It's a place I've been I've been quietly watching. It's a secret to everybody. I don't want to be famous. Well, there you have it. Hmm. Seems like every piece of feedback we received is from the same po the police. 
And while I'm happy to hear they enjoyed themselves, we need some more residents to get some word of mouth going out up on our island if we want a higher rating. For now, I suggest to focus on growing the population and gathering more varied feedback. If we want to increase the number of residents, we need to prepare some sell land, sell some land. Once we have all that in order, you can recruit folks to move here. I suggest you visit Mr. Nook to counter at uh, the counter to and ask him about island infrastructure. I'm sure he'd be happy to help you set aside to sell some land. And there you have it. Just let me know the next time you'd like to hear the latest new island feedback. Alright. Well, the problem about that is, is that I don't... I'm really picky who I want. That's the thing. And I don't know if you can get rid of villagers in your town. That's the problem. I don't really know if you can do that. And I don't really want some randos I don't want in my town. That's the problem, so... You can? How do you do that? If I don't want specific people. I'm guessing you gotta talk to Isabel about that? In the same way you couldn't do it? So discuss a resident and all that? That's how you do it? Before Andy gets Rocco, if he does, I'm not inviting him. If he takes his land over, like, someone I want, I'm gonna slap him out of my town. <laughs> he will not be alone. He's not welcome here. Damn it. He's not. <laughs> Alright, I'll go put a house down, I guess. Let's talk about infrastructure. You have to wait a day for you to be able to fly. Once your day ends, you can use the flying service. Uh... At sell some land. Alright. I do have a charge of 10,000 bells. Uh, sure. I will do that. So, do I have to put the land down before I find anybody? Is that a thing? Hold on, let's see. Is that, is that a thing I have to do? Or do I have to place it down and then people will show up and stuff, like in tents or stuff like that? Or can I just, like, hold on to it and then I can just get people just to show up on islands and that? That's a- that's a question here. How many of these can I do, in fact? Out of curiosity. You already have a housing kit with you. Look, I'm only sure- let me see, I can only give you one of these at a time. Ah, okay. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. I have to- I have to wonder here. I'm, just, I'm gonna try this real quickly here. I, I'm gonna see. We're gonna buy another Nook Mile here for just the test. I wanna see if you need to put the land down first before Islanders just randomly show up. Because if that's the case, then- ooh, I- this could be easy. I could do this as long- it could take this as long as I want, really. I'll buy- I'll buy three of them. Why not? I might make one of them my uh, trashling hunt I'll do tonight on stream. Because I, I figured I might as well do one on stream. You know what? No, fuck it. We're going to get all. all We're going to spend all on Nook Mile. Our Nook tickets. Yeah, because that's, we'll, that's what we'll do. Because we can easily get that back up, so it's not a big deal. It's not the biggest deal. Sorry. So how many do I have? I have like five right now, right? No, four. Okay. Hmm. So I'm going to test this out here. This is just going to be a test to see if I can find islanders why some some holding the thing on uh, with me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if that's a thing. Because if that is the case, then really I can just wait as long as I want then until until I get who I want uh, oh there's another one right here I'll put my party my uh, my wasps killers away yeah that's right you heard me the wasp killers they're not called party poppers they're wasp killers put those away Those are our deadly weapons right there. 
That means I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put this next house. Maybe like right here, maybe. Yeah. Put one here. And then put another one right there. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm thinking maybe I might eventually move Bud. Because I don't really want him on the sand there. I probably might move his house a bit. Put him like right here or something like that. Or up here a bit more. So then I can put another one right beside him. I'll probably move a lot of villages' houses at some point. As this goes on. What's up, Razor? How's it going? <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna experiment here. We're gonna see if we can find villagers just randomly on the island when I'm holding the the property. I have clips of an April Fool's prank on British U. Never doubt somebody who's eight hours ahead of you. <laughs> Well, guys, I hate to tell you this, um, I got an email today saying um, it was from Disney, and uh, they don't like the fact that I'm using Donald Duck as a meme on my channel, and because Disney's very protective of their IPs, they they want me to take down the Dolan from my channel. It, it's, it's, un it's unfortunate, it really sucks, so I, after today I can't use the Dolan, so it's un it's unfortunate. Um, I don't want to get sued, so, um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to get rid of the Dolan after today's stream, so, so yeah, so I just wanna, just wanna let everybody know that. <laughs> What's up, Palin? How's it going? I got good news, my friend Madge, uh, to find a brand new Switch at his local Walmart and sending it to me. Oh, that's awesome, nice, congrats. Congrats on getting your Switch eventually here. <laughs> Alright, let's see. This is just an experiment. I'm just using this one ticket as an experiment, basically. This is just a test. I'm just taking a sip of my drink real quickly here. Okay, let me see. Hmm. The answer is no, it seems. Okay. So you have to put the land down first in order to get villages to show up. Okay. Fair enough. That's that's fair. That's fair enough. This own self. <laughs> Why would you do that, Taka? Wow. You're not allowed. <laughs> And no one is allowed to do that, so stop. Stop it. But you already did. No, you're not. You're, I said you're not allowed. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> you're, you're not allowed when you're here. It's against the law. I guess while I'm here, I could probably just get the uh, material I need and whatever. And check what's in this fish pond here. Maybe we can get some good fish. Come on. Oh, yeah, there we go. A boy from Tampa would disagree. Yep, yeah, I agree. A carp! On disowned island? Wow. Bless. Another carp? Yeah, it's another carp. All right. Okay, uh, so we'll grab this stuff that's in here. Alright, so, I probably will do that. I'll probably put a lot of land down and whatever. And if I don't like specific people, I'm gonna tell them to move. <laughs> that's kind of how it's gonna work. That's how it's going to work, fam. Because, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna be very picky of who I want in my town. 
up to this point. Ah, shit. If you're just done, you can't get your aura of sushi. Yeah, that's true. You're right. I think I think that's how it works. Okay, that's two. Uh, there's another one here. That's exactly how it works. All right. I I wouldn't know for sure, but I'm glad. I, I just need some clarification. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. This will stop me, right? I think I'm pretty sure it will. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Good. Somebody said plus. <laughs> no more boxes. Well, no more magic words, then you don't get any more boxes. <laughs> then you'll stop getting boxes, Kappa. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> the more magic words you say, the more boxes I said. <laughs> I think that's fair. That's not gonna happen. So you want more boxes then? <laughs> Got, so, that, so what she's telling me is that she wants more boxes. Gotcha, alright. I'll make sure to send many of them. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. I'll give you them boxes. <laughs> okay, uh, did I do this one? I don't think I did this one, right? Yeah, okay, I did. Okay. I did do this one. I think I did all the rocks then, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, I think I did. Oh, let's grab this fish! probably nothing I need because I've caught all the fish for the month of March that are going away starting tomorrow at 5 a.m. So, but I'm gonna catch them anyway. Oh, you're my favorite fish! A tire! Hell yeah. Thank you, mutant, for those. Okay, here we go. Oh, I did this one. Okay, so I think I got them all then, yeah. Yeah, I got my stuff since I'm in April already in-game. Oh, really? Have you time-traveled at all? Or are you just in April? Are you just in April? As of now. IRL. So I was looking at the time, like, I don't think anyone... Got it. Yeah, I don't think. Thank you, Mean, for the 34 month resub. I appreciate that. Three hours in April. Oh yes, I guess you would be. You would be in three. You would be in April now. Yeah, that's right. 
I'm I'm Charles Harris ahead in game. Uh, oh right, that's right. That's right. You said you um you switched the time to fish uh to fit like uh, so it's a day town at night time. Right, right, right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I remember now. Okay. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put some t some houses all around, and we're gonna look for people to live live in our town. And if I see one Rocco pop up, I am going to move him out of my <laughs> my town. <laughs> the day he moves in, I'm like, I have a problem, Isabel. I want him out, <laughs> and I'll do it on stream. He's not welcome here. Stab Rocco with a shovel. I'll give him one of these. And one of these. And, uh, one of these. <laughs> and then I'll finish him off with one of these. Alright. Anyways, okay, so we're gonna put some land down. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put our next villager's house right here in particularly. So I need to line this up right. So I'm gonna put some sidewalk right, right here at, at some point, so yeah. I kinda wanna make it so you can have a sidewalk going around this way a bit. So probably like right around here is where I wanna go. gonna say right here and that's gonna be a little higher up right yeah so I'm gonna go down a bit I'm gonna say right here maybe how much space is that that's a little too much let's go up a bit right there you beat astral chain cool cool that's a good game it's a pretty shawled game I give it a good game out of 10 Let's take a look. Let's imagine that, for example. Then we could put a fence around this, maybe. Well, actually, let's put that down a little bit, because I'm gonna, if I'm going to put a fence, it's not going to have enough room for it. So I'm going to go down just a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, I think that looks better. Let's see. Yeah. Hold on. Let me let me, uh, let me grab my fences real quickly here. That, that might make this easier. That might make this a little easier to do. What? What are you doing here, bud? This is my house, you know. <laughs> are you are you cooking something on my barbecue, bud? Yeah, dude, I'm making some uh, some weenies. Cool. <laughs> I, I didn't I didn't record this yesterday, but I was playing. He came up to my barbecue and started sniffing my food that I was making. <laughs> it's really funny. He really likes my place. He always chills at my house. Well, I guess he's a bud after all. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna sit there, you might as well just sit on here, bud. I have I literally have a chair. You can sit on, you know? I'm allowing you to do that. You can come over here and do this. You don't have to sit on the ground like that. Just just want to tell you that. You're, you're, you're more than welcome to do this. No? Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I will, I, I'll, I'll let you do your thing. <laughs> Bud doesn't believe in chairs, no. He's not for one to sit in a chair. He is not one to sit in an object. He he defies objects. So I'm gonna need a lot of wood for this, I think. Uh, can I go this way? That's about right, right? Yeah, yeah. Perfect, yeah. Yeah, then we'll have a little sidewalk and whatnot. That's gonna look good. That's gonna look good. That look good! <laughs> yeah, that look good. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that looked good. I like that. All right, perfect. Now I just need to fit this house properly. Uh, I'm just going to take one of the fences out just so I can walk in the, the way I want to do this here. Okay, let's see. Is that too far? Or uh, not far enough? Yeah, got to go down a bit more. Go down a bit. Let's see. Let's imagine this. Hmm. I think so. I think that looks good. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that. Perfect. All right. All right. So now what we're gonna do? We're gonna continue building the, the fence around this, and then I'll go put another house down right beside it. Uh, should I give this a little bit more? Light? Yeah, I think we'll I think we'll widen this a bit more. We'll expand this a bit by one, just to give him uh, just to give him a uh, some more of a yard here. Oop. Not close enough. There we go. Oop. Oh, shit. I, I fucked that up. Fences are kind of finicky to make at times. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now... I need more. I need more wood. Oof. Oh, can they go in the back? Oh, maybe they can. Hold on. Let's see. Well, if that's the case, I'll expand this one. Put it right here. Yeah, okay. I'll have to expand it just by one. Not a big deal. We can fix that. Okay. I'll have, to, I'll, have to, I'll have to make more fences here. I want to kind of give them a little bit of a walking space in the back of their house too. Then I need, yeah, so I need more fences to finish around here. And then we'll go try to find who we want to live in there. What the? <laughs> yeah, I told you to uh, I'm making some weenies. <laughs> uh, okay, I believe you, dude. He's literally sitting there waiting to cook his food. <laughs> He's actually just sitting there waiting to cook his food. <laughs> that's 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 precious. I love him. He's found a jukebox on the ground. Cool. That's amazing. He's literally just sitting there waiting for his food to cook. That's termination right there. Don't mind me. I'm just I'm making some stuff. Uh, Bud, I'm here to make some more fences and shit. You got a pinball machine? That's cool. I see uh, B over there. She's doing some little sweeping. Doing some sweeping. I like her house. I, I like what I like what I've done with her house. Not gonna lie, I actually am very proud of what I've done with her house. I gave her a good front yard. Bud's watching me. Yeah, he, he. Well, no, he's watching the barbecue. He's cooking. 
He's waiting for his food to cook. Because he, he went up to it and sniffed it. Again. He's, so he's, he's using my barbecue to cook his food. You know what? I'm going to send him a barbecue. I'm going to buy him a barbecue and he can put it outside his house. So he stops using my barbecue. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna buy myself another barbecue, just so I can put it by his house. Cause he he really likes to use my barbecue. It seems. The past two days now he's been using my barbecue. All right. Uh, yeah, next shop. That's what it is. I hope I can still buy. I hope I can buy it. Oh, sick. Okay, cool. I'm going to place an order for it. I'm not gonna gift it to him because he's gonna put it in his house. So I will buy it, and I'll put it outside his house. <laughs> then he can make all the foods he wants at his house. And if I see him at my house using my barbecue, I'll be like, Bruh. The fuck? You know what he needs? Oh my god, he needs Chie's, Chie from uh, Persona 4's uh, sweater. That would fit him so well. I think that'd be so funny if he wore that. But I also kind of want to make him based off of uh, the dude from the Big Lebowski. Because I think he's like, he's basically, he's basically the dude of the, uh, of the island. I think that'd be so funny. Now, we're going to uh, place this here. So we gotta make sure we have a sp we have enough space, so then they have a little bit of walking space. I, I'm sure, I'm sure. When I, once I get the uh, the thing, I can make like a, uh, a sidewalk with no issues here. I would have to think. I then yeah, this will be the way to the beach. I'm eventually gonna make a beach, and this is where the beach is gonna be. Walk to the beach. Okay. Just grab. Take away two of these, I guess, for now. Just so I can line this up right. Oh, actually, I need to get another land. Right, 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 right. Let me uh, go talk to Nook for a second. And I'll place some more houses down. Hopefully the houses don't go away when I uh, when I kick someone out of my village if I don't like them. I wanna I wanna add about another house. I have the money to do it. I'm gonna shell some land. So they put three more houses down too. So after this, it's gonna be a lot of like moving people around in their houses and such. And eventually I'm gonna probably move to Nook Cranny. I'm gonna put it near the uh, the museum and the uh, Mabel sister shop. Put all the shops on the one side, and then put all the houses on the one side, if I can. It's gonna be the idea. For late game. Alright, let's see. Is that too close? Yeah, it's too close. Okay. Gotta go down a bit. Alright, let's see. Uh, I need to go down a little bit lower. Uh, I'm gonna cut this tree. Cause this is in the way. Uh, we're gonna shovel that stump out. Yeah, pick this stuff up. Gives me more materials to make more fences. Lower. Right about here, maybe. Yeah, I think that's perfect, I think. Let's see. Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I think that will do. Perfect. Now, let's grab our, uh, our fences again here. Let's continue working on our fence that we're working on here. Uh, fix this little area here. Um, right here. Oh, I gotta get rid of this tree here again. Well, it's not a big deal if we're getting rid of all. Uh, can't speak. Getting rid of a lot of the trees because if it's if that's what's causing a lot of my fruit trees not growing, then it's not a bad idea to get rid of some trees. Maybe I have too many trees on the island. I'm allowed to have in the game's coding. It's not a big deal. Okay, where's my fences again? Oh, here they are. Got two houses there. I have one more house to put down somewhere. I'm trying to think where they would go. Maybe on the other side. They need to go on the other side, but yeah. yeah so I'm, I'm definitely going to keep my house here for sure. This is gonna get moved for sure. I think I'm moving that nook's cranny all the way over here, probably. Probably put it like down here or something. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. I'll probably gonna move that eventually here, so that I can put more houses on the one side. Another, another piece of land here. Just to get all my properties on the ground. Alright, uh, let's talk about infrastructure. I want to add some land. That's fine with me. Okay. That's everything. So I yeah. So I, now I think that we have we have the max amount of villages we can have in our town. Now we just need to find the villages that I want, basically. Casually listening to Persona Q music while hunting. Cool. Yeah, when I'm doing my hunt, I might need to put some music on. So I'll probably do one. Tonight as well. Alright, I want to put this, at least have enough space here. There we go. PQ music is good choice. Also, happy Persona 5 Royal Day, ladies and gentlemen. It's officially out today. Um, I'm eventually getting my copy. I don't know when I'll be playing it on stream. It's going to be a little while, but uh, at some point I will definitely be playing it on stream. But I've not played Persona 5 and I want to. So, it's a one day it will happen kind of thing. I will be stuck with the original Persona 5 for a while. 
And that's not a bad thing either. Which is not a big deal. That's not a bad thing either. You'll probably only be missing like a few things. That's really about it. Just a couple things. From what I've gathered at least. Either, either version of the game is good. And you're stuck with none. Well, that's why you gotta get it. You have a PS3, right? It's on. It's on PS3 as well. It's not just PS4. Just so you know, if, you, if you're not, if you didn't know that. Oh, did I have enough space there? Oh shit! Hold on. Let's see. I'm thinking. I think I did. Whoopsie. Hold up. Hold up. I think. I think I had enough space to walk behind here. Oh, maybe I didn't. Okay, no, no. Okay, no, this is fine. This is fine. I see. I thought I thought I had enough space. Guess I guess not. That's fine. I will fix that. Okay. Remove that one. Put her here. Hey. Exactly right there, but hey, it's, it works. Like I said, I'm moving this new Nook's cranny at some point, so it's fine. There we go. Okay, let's uh, get rid of that. Right here, maybe? Is that good enough? I think so. Yeah. Well, darn. I was gonna make a money tree here, but uh, I think it's gonna have to move, unfortunately. It's gonna have to go. Unfortunately, it's gonna have to go. To make what I'm trying to do work here. Mario, uh, uh, rumor that's going around. That's getting reported by so many different sources. If that is legit, I'm, I may have to, like, be first in line for that. Because, man, that is absolutely exciting if that's true. All of those games coming to Switch is absolutely gnarly. Because what I'm understanding from that is that apparently... We are getting get remasters of Mario 64 and Sunshine. So if, if a remaster thinks what I'm thinking of it is, if it because with how Nintendo to do is a lot of remasters, it, that's going to be a legit ground up remake, basically, um, of uh, Mario 64 and Sunshine, probably using the Odyssey engine and whatnot with how that game looks, and that's pretty crazy if that's true. Um, the Galaxy games are supposed to just be HD upgrades, that's really about it, so... Which is fine, they, they, they look good already, just up, update the, the, the textures and all that, and that game looks bloody good, <laughs> in my opinion. And apparently Mario 3D Land's getting, or not 3D Land, 3D World's getting like a deluxe treatment, so it's, it's gonna be its own standalone thing, which is really cool too, because that game needs to be ported. It's, it makes sense that it'll finally become the Switch. And then there's supposed to be a Paper Mario game this year that uh, is supposed to go back to the GameCube Nintendo 64 style of Mar uh, Paper Mario, which, holy smokes, I can't believe they actually would consider going back to that. I thought we would never see the games go back to that, that style ever again. But, lo and behold, we are getting 
we potentially could be getting that. Apparently that's been rumored for a while now, which I didn't even know about that. So that's pretty cool to hear. I, I've been wanting a Paper Mario game back to its what, what what Paper Mario was for a good, good while. Not, none of this color splash, sticker garbage nonsense, because that's not Paper Mario. It's not what made Paper Mario Paper Mario. that much here? Let's see. How much do I, how much space is that? It's like one? Yeah, I think it is. I probably got up a little bit more. What's up, Dual Vision? Hello, why didn't I get a notification from Twitch from what you're streaming? I don't know. Should've. <laughs> I, cu I couldn't tell you. How's it going, dude? By the way, I'll have to get rid of that rock. Because Twitch? Yeah, that's about right. Because Twitch. That's basically my answer, too. Okay, let's see. Um. Hold on, let's see if I can make this work here. Now I'm trying to envision this. That's the sidewalk, so like right here. Oh, that's uh, a little off, I think. So this way. Let's see. Let's imagine this here. Okay. Okay. So yeah, then I'll move someone's house to be beside this one here. I'm trying to think who that would be though. It's not gonna be it's not gonna be B. B's house is like perfect. I don't wanna move I don't wanna change that. It's gonna be somebody different, I think. It's gonna either gonna be Bud, uh Audi. Or the eagle. I'm, I'm, or, or Doc, maybe. Maybe Doc can get me to actually over here. I wouldn't mind him over here. Yeah, maybe maybe Doc. Maybe Doc might get moved over here. Gonna move him over here, I think. Uh, did I go? Oh. And then what I'm gonna try to do... Actually, you know what? This one will have to be a little smaller. That's okay. For what I want to try to do here to make this work. Oh, I need more wood. Still cooking your food there, eh, bud? <laughs> As of today, I no longer need to carry my pole slash ladders I got to get to your home. Oh, that's cool. I'm thinking, yeah, I do like the bridge there, so I think we're gonna keep that there when that eventually builds. I'll have to, I'll have to see it. It's it's hard to envision it once until you get like the construction stuff where you can like customize the layout and such, which I don't have yet. All right, then we're gonna keep the space here. And then, like I said, we're gonna move Nook's Cranny at some point. And then put another house, like, right here. Put someone's house, like, right here. We'll put, like, Doc or somebody, like, right here or something. So I'm, I'm liking how this is looking, actually. I'm actually really liking how this is looking. So 
So I'm sure you can probably change how this looks, right? You can probably get rid of, like, you can probably adjust this stuff, too. I'd have to think. Okay, so we'll have multiple areas to the beach. Yeah, yeah, this, this will get adjusted, too. We're not gonna have this many coconut trees. And this is gonna be, like, a beach area where we'll have, like, beach towels and all that laying on the ground. Have, like, uh... A beach ball or something like just sitting around like something like that. This is definitely gonna be the beach area. I think. When this all eventually shapes up. Okay. How much do I have? Six. Way to my house. <laughs> Eventually, yeah. Something like that. I'll have to adjust where the garbage cans and that will go or whatever, but. Actually, you know what? I can do that right now, actually. I have an idea. I have an idea for that. We'll put, we'll put one of them right here. Oh. We'll put one of them right here. Oh, no, it's not what I want. Right here. How close can I put this? Okay. Right there, only. I, mm, I thought that would touch a little bit more. Put the other one right here, maybe. I may have to put the wheel in inside, maybe. Yeah, I think I have to put the spinner wheel inside for another room for later. So I'll put the garbage cans over the back there. Did I see your mention? No, I haven't checked my Twitter. I've been busy streaming. In fact, I don't think I even got a mention on Twitter. Hold on, let's see. Oh, yeah, actually, there it is. Yeah, sorry. Yes, I do. Ah, oh, cool. Thank you. Actually, I'm gonna go do that right now, actually. Wait, I don't think I can. It's closed, isn't it? Fuck, it is. Damn it. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll have to wait tomorrow to do that. But thank you for that. I ran, I lost track of time because I was, I was working on this. I just realized what time it was, because like, it's 9, oh shit, and then they're closed, aren't they? Yeah. And sure enough, <laughs> sure enough, they were closed. Oh well. Okay. Um, let me get rid of this rock here. Hate having to do that, but... Gotta be done, unfortunately. Okay, where's my rock? Hitting machine. Here it is. Machine. It's just... And by machine, I just mean a shovel. Okay. Yeah, the, these aren't staying here. They're gonna get moved at some point. I just have them there. I think I need wood, don't I? I think I do. Yeah, yeah, I do. I definitely need wood of some sorts. This stuff. Why is Bud just in there? He's using my barbecue. He's cooking. He's cooking. He's cooking his food. He came to my came to my house just to cook his food. That's what he's doing here. <laughs> that's my. That's what I'm going with at least. He's legit just chilling around, just cooking food. He's making. He's making weenies. Yeah, I might, I might have to do that. The wheel and that might have to go inside. Oh, I guess he's done. I guess he was just eating his food there. So he's leaving. He's heading home now. <laughs> I guess we can put the wheel here for now. But I'm going to actually uh, put this in another room later on. Yeah, that, that will probably get moved into another room when we get the space for it. Okay, so I need soft wood, so I'm gonna go grab- I'm gonna grab a few from my inventory here. Don't need too much rain now, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, he was just chilling by the barbecue, so I ordered a barbecue, I'm gonna put it outside his house. Uh, 
uh, for tomorrow. <laughs> okay, crap. A couple of those. And then we'll go check some islands out, because I want to see if I can find islanders that I want to find. And there's B. B's house will never be changed. Her house is basically staying put. Only a few other people's houses are probably going to get moved around or whatever. Okay. But yeah, like I said, also... Nooks and Cranny is going to get moved, I think, too. Because this is, this is probably going to be someone's house is here now. That's going to be changed. So, I think it's 50k to actually move, like, stores and that, if I remember correctly. And houses, I think. So, that's going to be a lot of money to do. But, hey, I'm going to make... I'm going to make mad cash when I get, um... Flick to come to my island. I have so many tarantulas waiting for him. Hello, hello. Uh, let's check infrastructure. Um, layout changes. I want to change the shop. Oh, the shop! Moving will cost you 50,000 bells. So, would you suggest it? Sure. It's just very good. Let's see what Timmy and Tommy think of the idea then. Hold on while I contact them. So Timmy, what do you think about Andy's suggestion to move the shop? I'm all for it. Andy will find us a spot and that will make business boom. I'm sure of it. Alright then, sounds great. Uh, you just leave the rest to me and our friend Andy. Nachos? Ooh, some nachos sound good. Well, Andy, since the moving matter is now settled, I'll take care of that construction fee now. Alright, next up, I'd like you to pick out a new location. If your pockets are... If in your pockets, you'll find the shopping moving kit. You'll need to find a spot and deploy it. Okay, so let's find a place for this. If I could put it right beside the, um... Um... The Mabel Sister shop, that would be cool, too. Suddenly. Or actually, hmm, let's see. Can it fit here, is the question. Where's the, uh, ah, oh, right here, perfect. Let's see if it can fit here. Ah, no, it can't. Hmm, not what I want to do. Hmm. So I don't I don't want it sitting right here in any anymore. So I need to put it I wanna put it on this side. Maybe this is a little too big. Maybe we don't need it that wide here. Or we can move the Able Sister Shop as well and place it beside here. Because I kind of want to make it so, like, you walk in and you come this way and you can go to the shopping area. And then the museum's here too and all that. So this is kind of like the, uh, the place, like, like the, the, kind of like the shopping district and, uh, museum area, so, like, stuff you can do in the town is all, like, right here and whatever. It's kind of the idea. And while all the houses in that are all on one side over here, like, it's gonna take you over here. You can go this way to see all some people's houses and such. And then someone's house's house is up here. That way. Like that. And then you can get to my house there. And then if you go this way, you can get to the bridge here. And then get to more people's houses over there. I, th 
think that would be a cool idea. And the campsite's gonna stay where it is, up there, in the mountains there. So I think that's a good place for it. So yeah. All right, get you seen a bit. Yeah, I'm, I'll be I'll be deciding this for a little bit here. I'm still kind of thinking where exactly I want to put the shop. Because I might have to move the Mabel sister shop too now. Make this work. Because I think the museum's perfect where it is. I'm not gonna change that. That that's definitely staying there. That is definitely staying there for sure. Because I think that's cool. You can walk over here, get to the uh, the museum right here. See like a nice little uh, T Rex uh, right here, and then you can go and then you can go and uh, have like a little like. Sitting area here. I'm gonna put those vending machines here, maybe. Have a shop, one of the shops up here, maybe, and then maybe another one down here. Or something like that. It's, mm. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Only it fit there. That would have been great, but now it, it doesn't, so. Hmm. I'm gonna definitely move your house for sure, but yeah, you're not you're not gonna live there anymore either. Eventually. Let's see, what would it look like right here? It's too close to the plaza. I don't want anything to get in the way here. Better choose another place. What do you mean? It's not even touching the sidewalk. <laughs> What do you mean? Ah, oh, damn, feels bad, man. Okay. Slide over just a little bit here, I guess. That's like not even touching the sidewalk. Let's see if I can make it as close as I can. Ah, that's nah, can't do it that. Which is unfortunate. Okay, let's see what this would look like. If I don't like that, I'll eventually have to move that this again too. Hmm. Or what if we move go up a bit here? That's too close to that. Go down a bit. I wish that would work. It sucks that it doesn't. Oh, hold up a second. Let me pop this balloon. A homework set. All right. Cool. Maybe right here, I think. For now. This is where we'll put it. Alright, so the shop will go there now. Uh, the shop's still open, right? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. It, that, that's good to see. <laughs> so the shop will open over there tomorrow, then. Which is good. If I don't like it there, I'll, I'll make some future changes later. So I think I'll put my vending machines back over there then. Where, where uh, the shops are and such. Next 
So then you can go this way, go up, go this way, and then into the Able Sister shop. Not a bad idea, I don't think. That's kind of what I want to do here is make this like kind of like just a hangout spot if you want. There's uh, the vending machine and all that over here. Put this as close to the water as I can. Put like uh, some, some like table here, and then you can just sit around here, like a whatever. And then outside here, I kind of want to have like a like a couple seats just sitting right here, and you can and whatever, or right there, and whatever. Yeah, I think I like that idea a bit more with the shop being there. Yeah, but make this the shopping district kind of area. And if they ever add more stuff, like, like more shops and that, we can put them here. Too, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Like if they put, eventually put the roost in, they can go on this side too. Which wouldn't be a bad idea, and then I can make this a space for somebody's house here. At some point. Yeah. I like that a bit more. I think. Cut that tree eventually. Not don't don't want it that far. And then I can finish this at a later point, once this building goes away. Alright, so we'll put the fence stuff away uh, for now. Oh, oh, because I'm holding on to it. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. Drinking fountain, right. I need to put you somewhere, too. Hmm. Put it in storage for now, I guess. Alright, we'll go check an island here uh, to see if we can find anybody that I particularly am looking for. Uh, but first I'll put this away. And eventually we'll, we will attempt a, uh, a tarantula hunt as well. I'll put storage. Alright, so we are looking for, uh, for particular villagers here that can find find for my town. Kid Cat is number one on my tier list of who I'm looking for. Then potentially Scoot. Yeah, he's my other one. Never had Scoot before, but because of vine sauce and all that, I want I want him in my town. And then I'm looking for Filbert, the squirrel as well. <laughs> so that's that's kind of who I'm looking for in my town at this time. So we'll see if we can find him on our adventures here. We're gonna go on a uh, a little plane ride to the uh, to an island here, and we'll see if we can find who we are looking for. Yeah. 
Please bless RNG. Give me who I want. It'd be so hype if I get who I'm looking for here. Okay, let's take a look around here. Damn it, it's not who I'm looking for. Damn it. I'm disappoint. I don't want him. <laughs> Alright. That'll be a no. I am not getting him. So I'm just gonna come here and grab the, uh, the materials. Is that Rocco? No, it's not. It's not Rocco. Even if it was, I wouldn't even talk to him. He's banned from my island. So why would why would why would I want Rocco? I'd rather take Clown Sheep over, over Rocco. Rocco and Ursula are not allowed in my town. Those are, those are, those are the two, those are the two, uh, villages that are not allowed, not, not welcome in my, my town. Anybody else is fair game. But, unfortunately, I'm looking for a particular one, so I can't invite this guy, sadly. Clown Sheep? Yeah, his name's Pietro. And he's a sheep. And he's, he's a clown. <laughs> he's pretty goofy looking. What's up, DJ? How's it going? Ah, oh, there goes my shovel. I'll have to make another. I'll have to make another one. Freaking tarantula came off screen. I hate when that happens. I don't like when that happens. Oh, I, I freaking hate this island. Yeah, I, all I'm gonna say is, thank goodness I'm not doing a tarantula hunt here because this is the worst island to tarantula hunt on. Just, just saying. Don't ever do tarantula hunts on this island with an islander on it because it's not worth the stress. Just telling you. Just, just don't. <laughs> just don't do it. I went through some hardships here. If I was to do one here, I'd hate this guy too. Yes, Rocco was on this kind of island too. <laughs> you actually still got it? Cool. Ooh, I'm running low on the, uh... Tool on the, uh... The point department. I use them all on my tickets because I'm looking. I'm I'm looking for specific people, so I gotta grind tickets for the next little while to find who I'm looking for. Yeah, I'll put them away. How much as I can hold. I know that villager. I don't care for him. This guy over here. Yeah, he's not one. I'm like eh. I'm kind of eh for. It's kind of meh. I think he's a a cow. Or a bull? Yeah, I think he's a bull. I would like a deer too and all that, but I already got another dog and the eagle guy. Which I'll I'll I'll, I'll let them stick around for a little while. If I want to, and I don't really care for them later on, I'll probably move them. I'm definitely keeping uh. The original five I've gotten, so I've, I'm keeping uh, Flo, I'm keeping Bud, I'm keeping uh, Doc, I'm keeping uh, Audie, and I'm definitely keeping B. The other two, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll, it's a wait and see kind of thing if I'll keep them or not. Just 
Excuse me. I wonder what I wonder if the, there's a thing that tells you like the percentage chances of who you can find on islands on who you can find on the islands. I, I'm guessing it's probably all the same. But to be fair, there's like 400 different characters you can get on your island. You have a potentially getting so. And yeah, a lot of people could say, why don't you use the amiibo cards? I would, but I don't have them. And second of all, apparently it's glitched right now. It's and it's and yeah, so I'm not gonna bother with it. Or go to someone's town that has a villager and then just ask them to move to my town because yeah, apparently that's glitched too right now. So I'm not gonna bother with any of that right now until the time comes. Whether if you use the amiibo card or if you try to go to someone's town and ask them to move to your village, it it won't work for at the time being. It's glitched until they fix it. I want that. I want that butterfly. He, he, he gives you a high price. No! Come back! Damn it. Damn it. Yes! Alright. Pick up him. Now, I wish there was a way you could, like, transfer your, your, your bells to nook points, because that would be cool. You can you can you can transfer your nook points to bells, but I wish you could do vice versa. Fortunately, you can only do one way in this game, unless there is. I'm just not aware of it yet. Maybe it's later on in the game you can do that, but as of right now, I've not seen anything you can do that with. I'm not doing my tarantula hunt here, so we're gonna say nah to this place. But I will craft a uh, a new shovel if I can. Yeah. Oh, is this the glitch? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so apparently, if you try to invite someone through amoeba or through uh, someone else's town to move to your town, apparently it doesn't show their name on the, the house, and that it's stuck like that for a long time until you ever fix the game. They ever fix the game, which better be in the next patch, which apparently is coming pretty soon for Earth Day and whatever. So that that has to be in that patch. That better be in that patch. Try another one here, uh, but first maybe I'll go and uh, sell some stuff and take, keep stuff off of my inventory here because I'm gonna do. Because if this island's good, I will do my uh, tarantula hunt here. Only gonna do one today because yesterday I did two of them, and that takes a lot of time. That takes a lot of uh, takes a lot out of you. <laughs> they were really quick to. On the dupe glitch, yeah. Surprise! Uh, so hopefully they they do the same for the, this one too. Hopefully, they were pretty quick on that duplicate glitch. It was like what a week that they that they took it out. Okay, so I'm gonna need my stone axe. Well, actually, I kind of need a sh just a regular axe, actually, so I'm just going to put that away. Actually, I need my net, so I don't know why I put that away. Uh, vaulting pole, I'll... I don't want to take my vaulting pole. 
I don't want to take my ladder that I have either, so I'll probably just make one over there. These two I definitely need. Uh, put away. I probably will just go to my ATM just to put that away. I'll sell that. So, yeah, we'll do that. So, I will showcase how uh, tarantula hunting works in this game if I get the correct island for it. Because some islands don't allow you to do it. But a good majority of them allow you to do it. But there's some islands that are better than others, so... But I've never gotten the tarantula island yet, so... If I end up getting it here, that would be pretty... Pretty, uh, pretty poggers. I've not seen the tarantula... The, the fabled tarantula island, as they say. I've not seen it yet. I got a nice one. Yeah, me too. I got one yesterday. It was the Bamboo Island. And that's a really good one for, um... For, uh, tarantula hunting is the Bamboo one. Okay, uh, yeah. We'll go here. I'm gonna put my money away. For the time being... Your sister got you an Oreo shake? Ooh. Ooh, that sounds good. Enjoy. I'm just having a Baja Blast at the moment. Uh, deposit. Um, how much do I have in my pocket right now? Or not my pocket, but my inventory. 71. Okay, I'll put the 71. K in the in the uh, ATM. Not towards the help, the loan yet. Just 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 to deposit. Cool. Probably gonna have to put more money in here because I, I have that flower to sell as well. Thank goodness, Nip Cranny is still open. Thank goodness. There you go, have this Emperor Butterfly. 4,000 bells. So I gotta go put like, what, 3k? Or so? Or well, 4k, okay. 4k into the ATM in the savings account as they like to call it Zero, 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 zero. Okay. So let's go check out another island here. See if we can find our top three that we're looking for. You're an island raiding machine. Yeah, I know. I'm just, I'm looking for villagers right now. That's like my, my big thing. But I'm also gonna do a tarantula hunt. But I need a good good island for that. All right. Uh, easy miles. Pick it. Uh, go for it. I will make myself a uh, a ladder if I need to. Don't really need the vaulting pole unless I need it. For the island, then I'll make that. Teach me your tarantula hunting ways? Alright. It's very simple to do. Very, very simple. And this is a good island for it, too. We got the bamboo island again. Alright. Cool. Let's see, but first, we're gonna see who the islander is first. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, there he is! <laughs> it's
it's Pietro. <laughs> Holy shit, it's Pietro. <laughs> Fuck, I might need to get him now. Holy shit. <laughs> I thought this was a dessert time, but we here we both are. <laughs> My name's Pietro. <laughs> I'm here on vacation soaking in the vibes, and you're Andy from Beat Town, right? <laughs> Hong Kong, you are! I think fate has brought us together. I hope we make some good memories, you know? Oh my god, I might need him. <laughs> Holy shit. You know what? Fucking hell, yeah. You know what? We're gonna have to move someone out of my town. We're gonna move, um, maybe the eagle or the other doggo. Maybe the eagle. Yeah, I'm not, I don't really care too much for the eagle, so I'm gonna move him out. I fucking want Pietro, <laughs> to tell you the truth. <laughs> Coming here, there's some nerve on my part, but I'm not sure about going to another dessert. I, but I believe in destiny. We met for a reason. I've just decided to move to Beat Town, Hong Kong. Good, good idea. I'm really glad you're welcoming me like this. I'll jump through the normal hoops, I guess. So, what are they? I see. I have to contact Tom Nook. Hong Kong. Okay, good. okay. Sounds good. Just, thanks again for being so welcoming, even though we just met Andy. You're alright. Cool, thanks, Pietro. <laughs> alright, so we have Pietro coming to be learning, moving to Beat Town now. See, be better villager than Rocco. He's cool. He shows up here at the, uh, at, at the, uh, the, the, the bamboo area. And that is awesome. Okay. So anyways, we're here to do a, uh, tarantula hunt, which I hope I can do. So, here's what you gotta do. So to start off, you gotta remove everything you see here on the grass. And I mean everything. Flowers, weeds, you name it. You gotta move it. Uh, this can stay because this is for, this is Pietro's. You gotta we gotta remove every single thing. That means cutting down trees that you see here, uh, taking out the weeds. You name it, everything. So this takes a little bit of time to set up, but it is worth it. Because the idea for tarantulas, how they appear, is you want. Flat ground. You, like, you want anything there. Supposedly they, they spawn more when you have empty areas, basically, with nothing laying there. Like no grass, like no no flowers, no trees, no uh, no uh, weeds or anything like that. So yeah, and everything. And yes, you want to get rid of the rocks as well. The rocks need to go too. <laughs> Rash is gonna be so mad at me because I got Pietro. Well, I mean. I don't even think she wants Pietro anyways, so... You know what? Pietro's mine. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm bringing the memes. So, out of curiosity, chat, who do we keep? Do we keep Butch? Or do we keep, uh... Um... The eagle. Rash is gonna say the magic words guaranteed. Yep. That'll be your third one of the night, too. Thankfully, I don't think bamboo get, has wasps in them. I've not seen a bamboo tree that has them in them, which is nice. So you don't ever have to worry about that. But watch as I say that, and it will happen. Butch? Okay. Oh, eagle has to go? Alright, we're gonna complain about the eagle then. I don't like him very much. <laughs> I didn't really want him anyway. Well, he's, he, he's gonna go. He's been kicked off the island. He's, he, he, he's been eliminated from Survivor. As they say. Not that I don't dislike him or anything, but I'm looking for particular villagers at the moment. Oh, hey, Rash, I guess he's moving into my town. <laughs> Look who it is! <laughs> Look who it is. He's, 
He's coming to my town. Why are you looking for specific peeps? Um, a couple of them are- one of them is my favorite villager in Animal Crossing, so I want him. Another one is because he's a meme. And then the third one is because one of my villagers that I have, um, they're based off an actual person. And, um, their favorite villager was the squirrel. Uh, and they're named, um, Filbert. And I kind of want to get that one just for them. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of looking for specific uh, villages for my town that I'm that would that I want. And the nice thing about this game is that you can basically ask people to move out of your town and whatnot, which is cool. So I'm gonna probably head home after this tarantula hunt, and we'll make the eagle leave. First, the first number of villages I had started with, they're staying forever. They're they're fine. And it was good that and a lot of people were saying Butch is the one that should stay over him, so I'm gonna do that. We're gonna keep Butch. For the time being, we'll keep Butch for the time being. If if I don't really like him as much, then maybe he'll go, but I'll most likely keep him, but we're gonna we're gonna make the uh, the eagle leave. I don't really like where his house is either. Snest got Pietro and he put his house on a cliff and put barbed wire around it. Wow, that's mean. Pietro's a good guy. Misunderstood. Shit. Fuck, I think I don't have enough. Yeah, I don't have enough to make an axe now. Shh. Son of a bitch, I don't think I have enough for an axe. Ah, yeah, I don't. Shit. Yeah, because I don't have enough nook miles. Well, fuck, I'll have to go at home and uh, craft some, uh, some, a some axes and such. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the one thing. If you don't have enough nook miles, yeah, you kind of ruin your opportunity. I should have brought some uh, some materials with me. Oh well. Eat the bamboo. <laughs> Eat the bamboo. <laughs> it's too bad you can't actually. Um, it's too bad you can't actually uh, craft the um, the uh, the axe with the um, with the bamboo. You, you need the other wood. That's too bad. But yeah, I'll prepare myself for when I'm for for the next island. I thought I would have enough hits with my axe there, but I, I guess not. Guess I I guess I used it too many times. Hi Pietro. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I still can't believe it's Pietro. I know! <laughs> That's actually pretty amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Alright. Well, since this uh, I can't do the, uh... The, uh, the tarantula run here. I will grab the materials that I can get here, at least. And then, uh, when I go to the next island, I'll bring a lot of, um, uh, materials with me. That I need to make specific, uh, tools and such. With me. And then I'll leave them all, like, over here, or whatever. Or leave, leave them on, like, the beach and whatever. Because, yeah, that's something I should mention. When you clear off everything, um, if you're running out of pockets, you want to bring them all to the beach and just drop it all off somewhere. So it's not on... not on the grass at all. I don't know if you can keep the, the dug holes. I've never, never even tried without taking getting rid of that, but, um... Yeah, appar apparently... You want to get rid of everything that's sitting here, basically. So I don't know if that includes uh, the dug holes. Game's like, hmm, he talked to Pietro. Let's give him Pietro. <laughs> yep, I, I mentioned him earlier, too, and it, that's the funny part. <laughs> I, I legit brought him up earlier in the stream, and sure enough, that's... I think my Switch hears me. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to talk to my Switch real quickly. Switch, if you could be so kind to give me Kid Cat, 
or scoot next, that would be very much appreciated. I would very much like that. Thank you. Okay, so I think I think that Switch has a built-in microphone, so I hope I hope it was listening. Hope it was listening in. Alright, you go through be that show. No, oh. Yeah, yeah, okay. No. Um, I'm just gonna need you to move, Pietro. Right there's perfect. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Oh, oh, sorry. Yes, if I can get Kit Kat and Scoop, that would very much appreciate it. Thank you. And if I could, oh, oh, and if I can also get Philbert as well, that'd be awesome. Very, very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. So I'm just gonna hit to grab some of the materials for now. So yeah, this would have been a perfect island to do the, the tarantula hunt, so yeah. Eventually, once it's all cleared, um, yeah, oh, there's one. See, look at that, right there. There's one right there, as you can see. There's one right there. We found one regardless, but yeah. Supposedly when you uh, clear all this, you'll see more of them pop up in that. Um, you'll, if you're having troubles finding them, you may have to run on here to get rid of these guys. There also will be tiger beetles walking around too. So, definitely get rid of them. As well. There we go, alright. But yeah, maybe if I show a picture of Kid Cat on stream, maybe that will will trigger him to show up here. Let's see. So I'm gonna grab a picture of him. So just in case you guys wonder wondering who I'm looking for, he's a cat and he's really cool looking. <laughs> Th this 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 is who I'm looking for basically. I'm looking for this guy. This is one of my, this is my favorite villager in the entire game. In the in the entire series, this is what I'm looking for. In case anyone's curious. He's my number one look I'm looking for right now. So I'm hoping I get him. I had him in my uh, my new leaf town. So I'm hoping I get him again in the here in this game. Okay. But first we'll just grab uh, all this stuff. I think he was in your in your pocket camp. That's cool. I remember one day I put my old when I was still using my old logo because back when New Leaf was new, I was using my old logo. I actually made it in game. I actually took the time and drew it by hand in the game. I put it in the uh, the Mabel sister shop, and uh, he actually bought that shirt and he was wearing it. By the way, you can't really plant bamboo trees of uh, trees on the beach. Huh, I did not know that. Interesting. By the way, actually I knew that already because I tried it. <laughs> I've already I've already tried that. <laughs> I've already I've already tried that. So I'm aware, I'm aware of that. Did I do this wrong? I think I did, right? I'm pretty sure I did. Let's see. No, I didn't. Okay. That'd be cool if I got a gold nugget. That'd be awesome. But I haven't had a gold nugget uh, in a while. I haven't had that luck in a while. There was one time I went to one island and I got two of them. And I was like, dude, that's the gold mine right there. Did you know that you can dig up stumps with a shovel? Really? No, I didn't. Ho oh, oh, sorry. Hold on, guys. I need to do something so I don't get so I don't trigger the uh, the Animal Crossing fandom. Okay, now we can leave.
All right, see you, Pietro. I'm excited for you to move into my village. Poggers. Pretty neat, don't you think? I, 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 I do. I do think it's pretty neat. Pretty neat. Clown sheep, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe people hate him. He's he he's so misunderstood. His house is full of balloons and such. Like he's just a clown. That's all. That's all. That's all he is. He's just a misunderstood clown sheep. That's all. I'm in. I'm indifferent because I've never had him. I think he's okay. I think he's cool looking. He's a, he's got a goofy design idea. He's got a, he's got he's got a gimmick, and I think the what the Animal Crossing characters that have some gimmicks to them are like the best ones. Is he a new leaf? Yes, yes he is. Yes he is. So I think that means that sh he'll be living he'll be living in front of um uh Flo I believe right yeah I think so. so I'm gonna bring some of this. I'm gonna bring some of this. Show him a dish. And I think I need some stone as well, so I'll bring some of that. Um, I'll have to make another uh, net in that too. So I'm probably gonna have to grind some wood for the time being here. Why can't I find these last few tarantulas? I know there's some points where it's just like they just don't want to show up. Like you'll get like three in a row and then it's like None of them want to pop up for like a good 20 minutes or so. It's like, ah. <laughs> Alright, we're proceeding of tarantulas. I'm going to put this one in my storage. So now I have 81 tarantulas to sell when the time comes. Beautiful. Also, first things first, we're going to go complain about the eagle. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to go and uh, complain about him. I want to go to him. I'm complaining about him because the second Batman film that Michael Keaton was in wasn't as good as the first one, so that's why he needs to get off my island. <laughs> All right. Uh, discuss a resident. Is there a resident causing trouble? Yes. Yes, there is. Which resident has been causing trouble to you? Keaton. <laughs> But it's about Keaton's behavior is upsetting you. <laughs> the way he dresses! <laughs> uh, the way he talks. Uh, yeah, the way, the, the, the way he dresses. <laughs> oh my, I'm shocked to hear that Keaton has been dressing inappropriately lately. <laughs> Would you like me to talk with Keaton and do what I can do to stop this behavior? Yes, please. I understood. I'll talk to Keaton about his attire and make sure he changes clothes. <laughs> Uh, please let me know if there are any other folks that can give you trouble. Alright, hold on here, let's see. Discuss a... Yes, I, I need to discuss things about uh, Keaton again here. The way he talks. Oh my, I'm sorry to hear that Keaton has been, hasn't been polite when speaking with you. Would you like to talk to Keaton? Yes, yes please. Say no more. I have, I'll have a stern talk with Keaton of an appropriate language on this island. Yeah. I find my, that my cherry dispo disposition can be quite intimidating in certain contexts. <laughs> Please let me know if any other folks are giving you trouble. Thanks, Isabel. You're best. Hmm. So yeah, I guess I can't remove them. Shit. Okay, that sucks. I thought you could. Maybe not now, maybe later? Okay. Interesting. Okay. So I'm gonna have to go do some, uh... Grinding for a moment. I think afterwards you gotta avoid them for a while. Okay. I'm just not gonna talk to them then. They will never be spoken to again. We'll pretend they don't exist. Alright, chat. We're gonna pretend- We're gonna pretend they don't live here. I just got done with my, with dinner and cleaning. Why does Andy hate him? I, I don't. I just want to get rid of him from my town. 
to get to get somebody else I'm looking for. Because I ended up getting a uh, a sheep clown moving in named Pietro. That's like shit. That ruins a lot of my plans. So I kind of want Pietro to take his place. And the chat voted for Keaton to be removed. So before he shows up with a bat in front of your house. <laughs> Holy shit. Could you imagine? And he'll be like, I'm like, oh, don't hurt me. And he'll be giving me the voice like, what do you want me to leave the town? <laughs> like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's some bitch. Yeah. Snitches get stitches, bro. That's true. I didn't do it. it wasn't me. It's Billy's fault. No, it wasn't. I don't know. I want my town to be the best. I mean, I don't know if being mean to them works, Annie. You see how I have- I- I'm- I am with Edge yet. He had me on Switch. Well, um... That- that might just be a you problem. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Damn it, Annie. <laughs> See this asshole? He's sitting on my logs. Fuck. Way. I'm trying to get this log or this piece of wood. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, did I do this tree? Yes, I did. Okay. Don't want to really want to hit the apple trees and that. I think where else I could look. Trees. Maybe, maybe uh well I don't actually I don't want my ladder, so never mind. Sits and eats a taco. I have a taco. Yummy. Did I do this tree? Pretty sure. Oh, no, I did. The flow's just fishing at the moment. Ah! Okay, let's see. Uh, I have 17 sod. I'm get. Why am I getting like regular wooden right now? What the heck? That this never happens. I never get regular wood this easily. What the heck? I'm looking for soft wood. Look at that, wow. More regular wood again. I 
That's actually pretty incredible. That's pretty impressive. Not gonna lie. Okay. Working my ass off on the next video and these stupid tarantulas. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm about to go try to do a tarantula hunt here too. Alright, that now puts it to 82 tarantulas now. Alright, we're gonna put this stuff away. Not gonna eat this much. Uh, put that away. Okay. Let's make some tools. You need four more tarantulas? Jeez. I hope you get them. Alright, we're gonna make another net here. We're gonna make... a uh, Flimsy axe. And another flimsy axe. Well... I probably only just yeah no I only need one. Yeah, I think that should be okay. Yeah, I think that should be fine. Right, we're gonna put the weeds away because this will be good. Right when I'm close to filling up my inventory, they stop showing up. That was like me last night. I was just looking for one last one before I can like say I'm done playing because I was at 79. I wanted 80 and I couldn't even get 80. Because they wouldn't show up, like, at all. And then I saw one, and it jumped off a ledge, and it died. I'm like, are you kidding me, game? <laughs> Why are you like this? So mad. Uh, I don't know if I need clay. I'll, I'll bring it. Because I have plenty of clay. Alright, let's go to another island. Maybe we'll find a good villager again. Alright, I'm really hoping we get who I'm looking for right now. If I at least can get one of the two, or three, I'd be pretty happy with that. I honestly would be very happy. Because, yeah, I have two spots left, right? Yeah, I have two, I have two spots left to, to sell. You also found two nu little nuggets on the island? Yo, nice. I have I have four of them in whole in total, I should say. And I can get a few more, that'd be nice. What would what do dodo? What would dodos do? What would dodos do, chat? Okay, if it's the spiral island, I'm leaving. I always get this freaking island. Ooh, okay. Ooh, wow, there's a transfer right over there. Is there a villager here? Hmm, nope. No villager here today on this one. Okay. Interesting. So I'm guessing you can only, like, trigger a few of them to pop up at a time. Interesting. Okay. Alright, I need to get it myself a vaulting pole. Not the greatest island to do this, but oh well. They can pop up here. So, we're going to use this to jump across, because I see a tarantula right at the start here. I thought I saw him. Oh, did he disappear? Oh, there he is. He's over there. There you are. Hang on, you son bitch. I'm here to fucking catch you. Yeah, alright. Sticks head in the ground. I remember said that one Looney Tunes cartoon <laughs> with the ost with the baby ostrich.
The fuck? What? 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 <laughs> Where did he come from? <laughs> what the shit, dude? Where? Dude, he was using, uh... The good old stealth tricks there. Man, what the hell? Where the hell did he come from? Damn, he blended in with that. I did not see him. He's probably mad because I caught his brother just a second ago. Snake taught him well. Yeah, some solid tarantula. Huh. You never saw it coming. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. He was a phantom thief. Tarantula. I guess. So can only two islanders show up on islands per day? Huh, because yeah, I, I I should be able to get one here. That's interesting. Interesting, okay. That's interesting to know. Because yeah, the, there should be one here. That's interesting that he didn't pop up, because he's supposed to be on that other side there. So that's interesting he didn't pop up. Huh. I wonder if there's a limit per day. Oh, I forgot to put my bells away. Back. Oh, it's not a big deal. I can probably just keep my bells. When I leave. I know my net's probably gonna break and such, so... Did I get everything on this side besides the rock? Oh, nope. Still a few more here. Okay, let's start cutting some trees! Better not see any damn bees here. I'm not prepared to stop them. Well, actually, I have a net. But because we're on a bamboo island, we're gonna see some. Let's see some motherfucking bees. Or wasps, excuse me. They're not bees in this. Fuck! I have an idea. Got him. <laughs> yeah. I was prepared. Okay. I was ready for him. You weren't prepared? Don't worry, I was. I was ready for him. When they decided to spook. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys something. Last night when I was just looking for that last tarantula, I went up to my little area where there's all those like uh, foresty looking trees. And uh... I kept shaking them, and I always got bells coming out of them. So I ended up getting a thousand bells just by shaking the trees in a row. It was pretty nuts. It was pretty crazy RNG. Oh, I probably need a ladder too, don't I? Yeah, I'm about to have to make that. All right. I will make a ladder. I just kind of remembered. Uh, there you are. Oh, I need hardwood. Feels bad. Did I drop any over here? I did. 30 of them, in fact. Damn it. I'm trying to activate that. You can dip from that island? Cool. Well done. Okay. Uh, yeah.
This area is almost done. Uh, I just need to get rid of the, uh, need to get rid of these now. Oh, damn it. What kind of sauce? Oh, because he says he can dip. I get it. <laughs> Try, it was probably uh, coconut flavored dip. Because it's an island and such. Oh, I didn't see this here. Now, I believe you can leave the flowers like this. As long as there's no flowers on top of them, you can leave them like that, I believe. That's fine, I believe. This one might have to go, though, because it's got something on it. But I'm pretty sure you can leave that like that. It's worked for me, so... I've kept them like this. I'll have to get rid of those in just a moment here. Um, but yeah, what I like to do is I like to put them on the beach. Like stuff that I'm not holding. Or I don't, uh, that's taking up inventory space. As so. It's reducing the chance of other bugs to spawn. Yeah, basically, yeah. That's basically all it is. It's actually a very easy thing to do in this game. It's, it's, it's just tedious, that's all. It's just a tedious process. You gotta do. But, damn it, is it worth it in the end. Alright, I believe there was two rocks on this first side? Grab three just in case. Or eat three just in case. Because yeah, you'll need to eat fruit, so you can do this. And... And I will get rid of those in just a moment. So I'm pretty sure that's fine sitting there. You don't have to worry about that. It's just the rock itself that you need to get rid of. But I, uh, but I take them away just in case. Weeds on this one, yep. Put this stuff over here. Um, I need to eat another apple here. So then I can get rid of uh, this rock right over here. Uh, where's my shovel? Here you are. Right. There we go. Get that up. That one. That one. That. 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 Okay. Almost there. Alright, so now... It's time to do a lot of cutting. I'm gonna cut all this, uh, all these trees down. And then we'll get rid of the, uh, the stumps. Is there a tutorial how to catch sharks? I think it just depends on the time of the year. Honestly. Because if you're in the southern hemisphere right now, you can actually get sharks. So I've, I've caught in one, but I was in the southern at one point. Okay. So now, I'm gonna get rid of these. I'm 
probably get rid of all the... All the crafting material out of here. In the southern hemisphere, it, it is also fall, so you can get fall bugs and fish. Yep. I knew it when it was shark week. Yep. When it's shark week, that's when the sharks like to show up. Absolutely. It's a reason why they call it that. <laughs> it's the time to go catch sharks in Animal Crossing. To make to make big dough. Uh, I think I good over there. Yeah. All right, so I'll pick up all this material here. We're not gonna need this here because it does take up uh, spawn locations. But yeah, again, this 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 process takes a little bit to do. Um, so and then it depends how your luck is when uh, tarantula like to spawn. Um, tiger beetles love to spawn, and they will become your bane of your existence sometimes. That and also the little uh, what are they called? Let's see. All them and the uh, uh, I think they're bugs, right? Yeah. Um, I think them and the wharf roaches are gonna be your pain of your existence doing all this. Because they love to spawn those things very, very often. And I mean very, very often, where it's like, can you just spawn what I'm looking for, please? <laughs> that would be very nice of you, game. And yes, again, the best time to do this is at night, so... It's the best time to do tarantula hunting is at night time. Since tarantulas don't spawn at all during the day. Oops, not enough space there. Put it right here. Drop item. Drop item. And drop item. Perfect. Okay. Now. Uh, Get across if I can. See if I'm missing anything here. There's some stuff. Okay. Actually, this is not a bad island for this. Actually, looking at this, you didn't. You had 800 slots in your storage now. It's a lot of storage. Is there a rock island? There is, and it gets you money. You can get bells from hitting the rock. That's the one I am aware of, at least. I haven't been there, but I've seen someone go to it. And it's, uh, yeah, you can keep it in the rocks and you'll get countless money from it. Sometimes when you use the, uh, hit the rocks, you get money from it. Billy said he got that? Damn. Alright, so now we are in the process now for looking for tarantulas. So, yeah, again, this process, it depends on your luck, really. So we saw tarantulas pop up here, so we should be fine to finding them here. But like again, sometimes you, can, you might get an island where uh, they don't spawn at all. But, uh, thankfully we're okay, we got an island that actually has them. You've been there twice? Wow. You get better islands than I do, jeez. Like I get, I get this one so often, like this is like my most often island I get in this game. This one and the spiral one. Those are like my two most visited uh, islands. So yeah, now it's the it's the repetitive part. You kind of just keep moving around until you see a tarantula. That's really that's really all you do. Once you see one, get your net ready, and then yeah, you're good to go. But I'm probably not gonna use my my vaulting pole just because I can walk around uh, the other side. I really will only need my, uh, my, uh, whatchamacallit, my, my ladder for this. So many bells, yep. Oh, oh, oh. Sometimes you'll never be ready for them. Like I was there. But then you can do this! Ha ha! There you go. Because they like to just pop up out of nowhere. So you kind of have to be on your toes a bit. I like to like move the camera like this sometimes, so it makes it easier to see every once in a while. So, yeah. 
But yeah, so there you go. So yeah, so when you see other bugs, despawn them. Like those guys like to pop up a lot. Uh, the tiger beetles like to pop up a lot. Um, so they're the ones that you kind of have to get rid of when you're doing this. Oh, oh, there's one. There's one. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> I always, uh, that, that happens every once in a while for me. I always, like, get killed by them. It happens. But I also figure it's a good thing because I think when you get knocked out sometimes, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Sometimes when I get knocked out by them, it causes more than them to spawn easily. I just, and maybe it's just me. And I'm just thinking that, but every time I've done that, it always kind of helps make the spawn rate happen a little bit more. Fuck! <laughs> I wasn't ready for that one. I mm. the camera sometimes does not help whatsoever at times. The camera does not help you in some some cases. Oh, there's one. Okay. There he is. Alright. This one I'll be ready for. Because he doesn't see me. Until he moves around here. Here we go. There we go. Got him. Once you see him jump, just let go of your, your, uh... Your net, because you'll catch him. Every time. Unless he's on a higher ground than you, then for some reason he just doesn't get caught. It's kind of random. But hey. It happens. And again, get rid of the tiger beetles, because they suck. They are the worst. Alright. Also, I'd say try just to walk as well, because if you run... And then you, and one spawns right by you, you'll never be ready for it, and then you'll get probably get taken out. Unless you can prepare yourself for it. Ah, stupid tiger beetles. Oh god. See what I mean? They just they just out of nowhere get sp spawned out of nowhere. Ah, damn it. I wasn't far away enough. That, and that's the one thing, you have to be on your toes. Because <laughs> they will come after you. When you're not ready. And some islands are just easier to do this, too. This is not really an easy island to do this on. That's the problem. You kind of don't want like a lot of like areas where there's like a lot of water around it. Because if you do, yeah, it makes it harder to like do this. And like I said, I'll be dying a lot here because this is a very tough island to do island or tarantula hunting on. It's not a very easy one. There are much easier ones to do this this trick on. This is not one of them. And I recommend never do the spiral uh, island because if you get the spiral island, you might as well just leave and do it again. When there's a villager, when there's not a villager, it's fine. But when you have a villager on there, don't don't bother. I don't think. It's not worth the stress. I could move that, like, crafting table, too. That would be nice, too, but... You can't do that. It's impossible. You can't move it. Okay. Climb up here. Get rid of this guy here. Alrighty, Rockin', catch you later. Have a good one. Thanks for coming by. See you later. Ah, oh, stupid. Tiger Beetle, I don't want him. <laughs> ah, there's one. Okay. Alright, I hope he doesn't come chasing me here. I'm gonna wait for him to go that way. Uh, go, go away a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Distance himself away from me here. Okay. Perfect. 
Got him. All right, that's another one. Collected right there. And yes, I usually leave when I get 39 because you can keep catch and catch catching stuff and your net will never break until you have a slot open. So you always will have to have, uh, leave a 39. Unless you're somehow lucky and are managed to be able to break your net and catch one last tarantula. Which I can't do, and, it, and I don't think it's even possible to do. Okay. Oh, let's get rid of you. Nope. Thankfully, none of them have spawned up there yet. But yeah, this will most likely be the most... Be the, the boringest part of the stream, I would say, is doing this. So. Just to clarify, everybody, that this will be the, the most boring part of the, uh... of this game, is doing this. Ooh, there's one. Time to go turn on some banger tunes. Yep, I might I might do that actually. Just give me a moment. Here we go. Alright, so gotta bring up my uh my playlist here. Where's my win app? Here we are. Alright. Let that open up while I'm looking around here. Because, yeah, the process can be very lightning fast at times, or very, very slow, depending on your luck. And it's too bad that I couldn't, I wasn't on the last island there, because that was, that was actually an island that was really, really good to do uh, this on. But nothing will be as good as the Tarantula Island, because that's easily the best island to do this on. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Let's put on some music while we're doing this. Put on my playlist here. Alright. I don't wonder, can you actually turn off the, uh, the in-game music? No, you can't. Okay. No, this is the player select screen from Street Fighter 2. popping up over on that side right now. I can't seem to get them on this one side. It's always the other side that they always seem to be popping up on right now. Tarantula. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> had to make. Had to say it. Okay. Come on. Where's another one? I need another one. Damn it, Andy. I know. 
I mean, I, I do ask that question. How did I live in a land of tarantulas? Nothing there. Where on earth are they right now? Oh, that's why. That was there. Ah, there's one. Yeah, there we go. Got it. How much have we gotten so far? Not even a full row yet. Feels bad, dude. I'll throw some stuff out here. I'll put down the, uh... Vaulting pole. And... One of my nets. Put that there. And with the 4,000 bells. Well, we're gonna have to keep that when we leave. I don't wanna lose my bells that I have in my pocket. Didn't realize I had any. I thought I I thought I put them all away, but I guess not. That moment I'm gonna have 82 tarantulas to sell. Oh no no. Oh damn it. I mean not 82. Um 122 tarantulas to sell. And then I just saw one spawn up there. I scared him. Yeah, because I have two I got two today and I put them in my house. Basically, I'm gonna break bank. <laughs> I'm gonna have too much money that the game can't even help let me hand or hold. Oh! 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 It feels bad. I did not see him up there. Damn, he was like Spider Man. <laughs> Ah, uh, Rainbow Road? Cool. This is a perfect song to catch tarantulas to. I'm not a Spider-Man, but a spider... man. Spider Cop? Yep. <laughs> That's who that was. Spider Cop! Whoa! Thought that was a tarantula there for a minute. Scared the shit out of me. <gasps> oh! God! Damn it! I don't even see him! He like lurked in there again! 
What the fuck? <laughs> Jeez. These stairs, man, they're sneaky. They are absolutely sneaky sometimes. I did not even see them. I'm wearing a full outfit of Easter eggs. Cool. You're the Easter egg. You're the giant Easter egg. Oh, there's another one. Wow, look at that. That was nice. That was good RNG that he just spawned right back there. Oh, there goes one of my nets. That's okay. I got another one, though. It's fine. Plus, I got materials around I can go and craft one if I need to. Whoa! Got him. <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> God, it's scary sometimes. This island is actually very scary. To do this. Another one. That's another one. Wow, I'm getting a lot of them right now. That's good. It's good to see. We are getting a bunch of them right now. What do you mean, dude? Oh, because he was higher up. Ah, I hate that sometimes. That, that should have been a for sure. And then it just it just wasn't. That was a for sure catch. And then just sometimes it just you just don't get it sometimes. It's a bit of a shitty thing, but whatever. It happens. That's a perfect song for this. I am legit on an island. <laughs> That's how this song works. That dodge, yeah. That's why you want to be on, on the same level as them, because if you're not, then yeah, they, they win 9 times out of 10. Ah, damn it. That sucked. That's a shitty spawn for them to pop up there. And when that happens... Oh, here we go. It 
Is your music or in the game? No, it's my music. You can hear the in-game music too. A bit in the background. Yep, this is perfect uh, tarantula hunting music because we're on an island. Oh, you can't hear it? Oh, okay. Yeah, I hear it a bit. I can still hear the in-game music a bit. It's not as loud. That's probably why. Oh, now you can. Oh, now you can. Oh, okay. Uh, where are you at, tarantulas? To go over here. Yeah, this is why these guys are here. I hate those guys up the most. Oh, I fucking hate that. Ah, I hate when they're up there, and then, mm, that happens. Fuck. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. I was going too fast there. Ran too fast, and then he came after me. I hope your doggo comes then. To, to cuddle. Where is. Uh... Oh, now they don't want to show up now. Nice. Gotta love it. Gotta love it when they don't want to show up. There we are. Finally. I should switch the song here. Oh yeah. When I think of uh, tarantula hunting, I think of the crazy motorcycle chase from Final Fantasy VII. Never want to spawn like in this general area here. I've not, I've not seen them pop up, pop up here yet. Oh, I thought I saw one there for a minute. Guess I was seeing things. Unless he fell in the water.
Wow, they don't want to show up right now. What the hell? <laughs> I, I got like a sh ton of them popping up like just a moment ago. Now they just don't want to show up. Oh, there we go. Oh, they can't, they can't jump high enough? Ah. Uh. That's like one of my dogs. He probably can't, wouldn't want to. Oh, shit. Oh my god. I thought I was ready for him. Dang, I almost streaming for five hours already? Damn, what the fuck? I've done almost a normal length stream today. Well, that's Tarantula Hunter for you. And as well, inviting Pietro to the town. Find any right now again, damn it. Get killed by the one and I can't find another one. That's how it works sometimes. But normally it's like they always spawn when I die, so I don't know what's going on today. So because I'm, I'm streaming, that's why. It's the streaming curse. You always never have good luck when you stream. <laughs> Oh god damn it. Yeah, nice. That actually worked though. That actually paid off. He got stuck behind the little log thing and I was able to set up. Oh. Oh now they're over here now. Here we go. Alright, we got two rows filled now. Only two more to fill, or well, one more, and then almost another one after that. Yeah. Good. Okay. Let's see if I can re-trigger a spawn here. Going that way. Nope. Nothing there. Okay. Click clock wood.
Oh, here we go. Apparition is online. Dang it. Sucks that he spawned up there. He explored his way online, yep. One, where they at? Oh, there we are. Yeah, nice. This one. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Yeah. Now we're getting them again. like been like the most frequent area that they popped up on right here this this particular area oh there goes my other net okay gotta make another one please don't have any tarantulas standing there how much do i have of that one 23 okay cool um i'm gonna need some that that, and I think I need... What else would I need? Uh, oh, just the Iron Nugget, okay. So I can drop... Actually, that's all I need. Yeah, actually, that's all I need, yeah. Then I'm gonna after that after I do this I'm gonna take my trash out of my house and I'm gonna check another island see if I can spawn another village or if that's a thing or if I'm only limited to two a day that's pop up. Cause uh, this is my third one. Nobody popped up on this one, which is odd. I thought it was pretty. I thought it was like a guarantee, but maybe it's not. Like I thought. Uh, no. No, they're not. I have, like, two more?
Oh. Thank God. <laughs> All right. Oh, let me move this down. Almost, almost got that third row filled there. All right, you'll let it see in a bit. Two of them there. Fuck. Damn it. It's too close. Pesky tarantulas, man. Slot. Oh, here we go. Probably need to get rid of some of my inventory here in a bit. Yep, that's some Chrono Trigger there. Why is this fit hunting for tarantulas? Oh! Speak of the devil. Yeah. One more, and we got the entire third row uh, collected. I'll uh, drop a few of my stuff here. Not gonna need the ladder, so we're gonna drop that. We're gonna drop the axe, drop the stone axe, drop the shovel, and then drop the vaulting pole. Actually, you know what? No, no, I'm gonna keep the vaulting pole for the for the time being. Here come that boy. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, I guess not. He ain't coming. He left. I don't like when they spawn in with when you have stuff just sitting around. <laughs> Cause you can barely see them sometimes, they blend in. Like like if you have wood sitting there. They blend in with that shit, and it's so hard to see them.
Damn it. Well, tarantulas are like a boss. So I guess this, uh... Music works! Damn it. Anytime I say the word tarantula, they show up, it seems. I should stop saying the word tarantula, because then they won't show up. Here we go. A Bell Island? If you do, I'll be sad. <laughs> Not really, actually. I have, like, bells waiting for me to get... Once I get the, uh, once I get Mr. Flick from A Bug's Life to show up in my town. Cause yeah, that, that, that was, that was the main character's name in that film, Flick. If you've never seen it, or just don't remember. And he was an ant. Thank you, Trevor, for those. I appreciate that. Welcome to the tarantula hunt, for those of you who are just tuning in at the moment. I'm just uh, looking for tarantulas at the moment. Did he fall in the water? Oh, dang it. Stupid tarantula. You weren't supposed to fall in the water like that. Well, I mean, I gotta ask since I'm getting the switch. switch, 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 switch. Um, honestly, I preferred the physical copies of the games. Just in case if something happens to your Switch, if you like taking it out or something like that, and if something happens to it, at least you still have your games back at home if you still have them or whatever. But digital's fine too. But I, I just like the physical side of things. I like having my games being uh, physical. The Spiral Island? Oh, that sucks for you. I hope you don't have a villager standing around there, because if you got one, just leave. Don't bother. He's gonna get in your way. Or she, he or she's gonna get in your way. Slide this over. I'll have to get rid of that pole pretty soon. I hear such the song here. Yeah. Perfect. This fits. You find a duck named Mallory. Cool. Well, Mallory will be your least favorite person starting in a moment. Oh god. Oh god, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, he's gone. Was not ready for him.
do another one. Yeah, don't don't do the spiral when there's a villager there. It's not fun. They get in the way because they like the the, the trances like to spawn where they stand. Oh, they're in their general location, and it's not a fun time. At least for me, it isn't. Some other people may find it fun with them on there. I don't. I just think they get in the way. Yeah. Can I drop my bells here? Yes, I can. Okay, cool. Oh, actually, I can just put them away. Cool, cool. All right. That works even better then. I didn't even have to drop them. Jesus. No! You hate to see it. Caught one, but still died. Yeah, that's how it works. You, you take one to die. That's one of those situations where you, you kind of have to take an L. You have, there's no way, way, no way around it. Only a few more slots, thank goodness. And yeah, I'm only gonna do one, one of these uncast. So don't worry, I'm not gonna do another one after this. I'm gonna go to the island again, just to see if I can find another villager. Unless, unless you're only allowed to find two a day. Also, I gotta be careful too, because sometimes, sometimes I like to get stuck in the wall here. I don't know why. It's especially this island. They like to get stuck on this wall, on this side. I don't know what it is. They got no bugs at the moment. On the field. Like, not a single one.
place a card face down and end your turn. Hi. When I play card destruction. Oh, is this player there? Oh no, I thought I saw one there. Now they don't want to pop up now, what the heck. That one killed me, and now they don't want to spawn. Oh, there's one. Ah, but then, he mm, didn't want to come down. Feels bad. Don't like when that happens. <laughs> it's the worst when that happens. Oh, I did not see you. I did not see you, dude. Damn. He didn't pop back. He, he disappeared. Feels bad. I was ready for him, too. Oh, damn it. Hear song. Yep. Hear that song? That Persona 3 song? What? Oh, Jesus. Alright, whose social link are we working on? The tarantulas. Oh, so Kenji then? <laughs> yeah, sadly. Got an email saying your FF7 R is getting shipped later. I'll have to see what mine said if there's anything. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna do that right for right now. It'll give me a chance to get the spiders to spawn. Give, give him a chance to spawn. Maybe I'm going too fast. Too fast for them to keep up. Arriving April 13th. Okay. That's what it says. So it hasn't changed then. It said that for me last time. Well, basically, Easter Monday it said. But I doubt that would be a thing. So it's probably gonna be the 14th. I doubt it'd be the 13th. What are my three most must-have Switch games? Um, Breath of the Wild's one of them. Smash is another one. And uh, Super Mario Odyssey's another one. I think Odyssey's worth it. It might have been such a good Mario game. Zelda, obviously, is, is definitely one. And then Smash is another one. But from the top of mind that I can think of, those are like my top three absolutely. Tarantula's at. Yeah, I guess they didn't want me to do the social link. Oh. We got the devil! I right, got one more tarantula to find. We're almost done. Or right, two more, actually. Sorry, two more.
For some reason I thought it was one more. Shit. Didn't see him. You know what? We need a better song for this last one. This is a this is a this is a fitting song. Maybe. These last couple. Damn, I could have timed that so good too. <laughs> that would have been meme worthy. Alright, one more one more tarantula. We're almost done, the tarantula hunt. Not enough Teddy. All right then. All right then. Well, well, then we'll end it with a, with 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 a Teddy song. Well, it's not really Teddy's song, but you know. Um, wait. Where's this last one? Where's the areas? Yeah! Tarantula hunt done! Alright, we did it. The tarantula hunt has been completed, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. Alright, what's up, Clara? How's it going? Alright, let's head home. Alright, so yeah, that's basically what tarantula hunts are basically like. Long, repetitive, like, waiting around for spiders. <laughs> that's basically what this is basically like. If you've never done it before, that's that's the, that's basically what you do. You just chop down everything, get rid of everything on the ground, and yeah. That's, that's basically it. <laughs> and then eventually tarantulas just all spawn up, and then you just catch them, and yeah. That's how we're, that's how she's done. And I'm not gonna sell these ones, unfortunately. I'm gonna put them in my, uh... Gonna put them in my storage. We're gonna go see if we can find one more Islander. We have one more ticket to spend, so we're gonna actually put them in the, uh... We're actually gonna go and see if we can find them. Or wait, did I drop the tickets? Oh, I think I did. Yes, never mind. I can't do it then. Yeah, I forgot. I dropped. It. I must have dropped the ticket, so I can't do it. That's okay. You're throwing 800 tarantulas at the moment. I had like 80 something, so now I'm in a I'm in a hundred something tarantulas now. 
Because, you're probably wondering why, because there's a guy that tends to show up randomly in your town and he'll sell f and he'll buy bugs off you way, way, way more than the next cranny will 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 pay you them for. Well, 150% more of the price. So like one tarantula I read can get you um Oh, what the hell? It was like 12k I think for one tarantula. The red goat person? No, not not the goat. He's like a lizard. He's like a red lizard looking guy. His name's Flick. Which I didn't get him today, so I couldn't sell all these tarantulas. But the day he comes, boy oh boy. Getting a lot of money. When does he start coming? He's just random when he shows up. It's very, very random. But when you when there's a bug tournament in that, I think he'll be there all the time. But sometimes he'll walk around your island randomly. He'll show up once in a while. On random days. Yeah, I forgot. I guess I guess I used I guess I ended up uh, dropping it. Oh well, that's okay. Let's see if I can farm for a few more. No. Well the only certain times he'll he will show up, but he won't be buying, I don't think it's just during like the bug the bug catching tournaments and stuff like that. That's the only time I believe he'll show up, like on specific days. But there are times he'll just randomly show up during the middle of a week or whatever. When nothing like that's going on, and you can just sell him stuff then. I don't know if you can sell some stuff uh, during that as well, but yeah, he just randomly will just show up on the on one day. I think he stays there for the entire day too. So when the, before the even like even before the day changes, he'll be there, walking around. I believe this is, uh, let's see, yeah, this is, uh, this is Pietra's house, there he is, yeah, he's gonna live there. Yes, yeah, so I have one, yeah, yeah, so I have two locations left, so, um, I don't know why he, I, there wasn't an Islander that showed up on that one, that was very weird. That was very weird. Oh, right, I, I, uh, I dropped my little, uh, my axe that I was going for, or that I was using, right. So I need to get some points here. What What's the fastest way to get some points? Let's see. Let's see what it says. Uh, talking to the village. Okay, that's easy. We'll do that for whoever is still awake at this time. Flo, you're here. Got stung by a wasp yesterday. You okay, Cha? Uh, when one's charging you with a stinger, uh, you don't have to just stand there and take it. You can also run. <laughs> Where's the concert area thing? I think this is where it is right here. I believe. I, I don't know for sure. If there's a concert area thing that you can build, I don't know yet because I've never I haven't gone it yet. Nor have I seen it. Oh, the campsite. Oh, um, I have my campsite up here. So, you just go up this way. And then... It's on that side there. Right across from this... This, this little river over here. Yeah, I figured this would be a nice place for it, too. This would be a cool place to have it. I'm kind of doing some organ or rearranging on my island a bit, too. So not everything you see where it is is gonna stay here. It's gonna eventually move around. Like this the person who's living here is gonna move there. I'm gonna move their house eventually and bring it over here on this side where everybody is. I have no idea. They they cost so much. <laughs> they are pricey as hell. Nook is a crook. <laughs> He would be if he doesn't donate all every everything everyone uh, all his money that he gains from you to like charities and such. Believe it or not, that's actually canon. He actually donates all of his stuff to charity that you that you end up paying him, or like half of it at least. Either all of it or half of it. Oh, B, how are you doing, Bingo? Chat. 
Have you had a chance yet to stop by the new neighbor's home and meet him, Bingo? I should probably finish finish frosting their house warming cake before I pop in. Yo, you make cakes! Dang. Why are you best, doggo? Isabel would fuck him up if you didn't. Yeah. Your island has line scooters? Yep. I'm gonna eventually take a lot of them and put them around the town. Folks say my place is super comfy. Hope it's true. I work hard for that not working very hard look. Watch chat. Somebody new moved in today. Have you said hi? I want to meet them too. Alright, there we go. Got some nook miles from that. Uh, okay. Spend bells by I buying items. Earn bells by selling items. Seashells! Well, that's easy to do. I want to get at least one more nook uh, ticket, and I f realized I accidentally dropped the one on the island because I was needing space. Oh well. If we're have to take it back, that's not that's all that's fine. It's not a big deal. It's not like it's not like it takes too long to get nook points in this game anyway. At an hour, you'll you'll have like none, and an hour you'll have like three thousand. I know it's like how how did that happen? <laughs> Oh, there's, uh, this bud. Your stomach. No, I'm, I'm still in the story for this game. I am still in the story mode. Once I get KK Slider, I think that's when the story ends. And then you can just go on from there, basically. How much did I say I have to sell? I'd say 10? Yeah. How much do I have? 2, 4, 6. Okay. Oh, 7. Okay, I have 7. 8. Probably can find some on the other side. Oh, you're you're not a seashell by the seashore. That should be ten. Yeah, Actually, that's more than ten, I think. That's good that your other store stays until. You make you use until the next day, basically. That's nice. All right, perfect. Sold some seashells. Okay. Um. What was this say? Planting flowers makes your island more beautiful. You. And you can earn miles, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's still a lot to do. Trash fishing. Catch a loach. Okay, well, I know how to find that. Oh, oh. Hey, hey, so did I hear right? You're trying to drum up some hype for Beat Town, Cha? I hope so. I want to be able to bring, uh, brag to everyone that I was there before Beat Town got big. Hyping up Beat Town sounds like a ton of work, though. You really do need a lot, lot for this place. Actually, I got something that I think might help. Oh, what's this? Right. So it's not huge or anything. Uh, but I. What about? Uh, but would showing off a sweet outdoor bench be cool? Actually, yes, that would be. What am I saying? Of course it'd be cool. Yeah, just trust me. Like, I trust me on this, so you should too. Alright, I'm gonna go put that. I know where to put something like that, actually. 
oddly enough, like right here. Nice. And you can sit in between here. Alright. Let's see. So if I sit on here, can I, uh... Yeah. You can watch the... Oh, nice. Cool. Nice. Looking cool. Okay. Alright, um... I don't really have a tree to plant at the moment. So... I could probably just do this. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Um... I don't have a shovel, don't I? No. Okay. Gonna be it. Make another one. Had to sacrifice it for the island, sadly. Hate having to, but that's the drawbacks for doing the, uh, the tarantula hunt. You kind of have to lose a few items and whatever. But, oh well. What's up, cold sex? How's it going? Two vending machines. Looks like you're trying to give everyone high cholesterol and diabetes. Well, what, one of them's a snack machine. The other one's a like, drink machine. So, maybe. I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Where is some stuff I need to grab? Uh, this. This. Yes. And this. I guess I'll grab some fish bait while I'm at it, too. Okay, I don't need that. I definitely need uh, a shovel, so we're gonna grab that. Got a shit ton of oranges to sell now. Oh, from the island? Cool, cool. Nice. Okay. Um, next up, I need to... What was the next thing I need? Oh, right, I need a, um, need an axe, right? Uh, stone. All right. Some wood. So, yeah, I, I need to, uh, get a few things here. I need to get some stone. Looks like the place is coming together. Yeah, it's slow, slowly, slowly making its way. It's slowly coming together, which is cool. Still some work to be done, but it's getting there. It's slowly making its way. It's kept slowly becoming something. <laughs> but I won't be able to do too, too much until uh, I get the, uh, the permit to rearrange the ground. Which I don't think you get until after the story ends. You got a new villager coming to your new leaf town? Who you getting? Um, yeah, let me make this first. And it's not a dog. Ah, uh, what's his name or her name? R Rory the lion. Yo, that's cool. Let's see. I'll see what he looks like. Oh, he's cool. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. He looks like a, a king. Uh, yeah, so I made, I made a normal axe, right? Let me just make sure. Yes, so I want to make the, uh, the other one. He's in your new leaf town? That's cool. Yeah, he looks pretty cool. Okay. Then you, then you'll smash the island into smithereens, yeah.
play it. This is getting moved, by the way. For those that don't know, I'm moving that the shop to right here now. So it's right by the Mabel sister shop and the uh, the museum. And then I'm gonna move somebody's house into this area. So that's why I have um, early work on the uh, um, the fence here. I'm trying to think who I want to move there. Do I want to move Doc or Audie there? Because B's gonna stay where she is. Audie or Doc will move uh, into this house here, this, or this area here. I'll move their house over here. And I think I might, I need to, I might need to adjust this one a bit. I want to move that one to the side a bit. I think I put it too much on that side. But does he got funds? Wait, what the fuck? Oh, my fence is in. <laughs> Oh, I was like, how the fuck did they fall in there? Um, but yes, I do have the funds. That's called all the tarantulas I got. Make Adi your next door neighbor. Alright, we can make that happen. We can move her over there. And then if I ever get a little squirrel guy, she he can live right beside her. That'd be such a good idea, actually. That'd actually be quite poggers, honestly. Uh, Alright, let me fix the fence here. Uh, press the wrong buttons here. Where is my fence? There they are. I only got four. I need to grind. I need to get some wood material at some point here. I am running out. I need to take a day to just grind for wood. Yeah, I think I think when I'm gonna move this house eventually and then put it over there, just just slightly over there a bit. I don't really like that right there. I think I think it would look better if it's on this side. A bit more. And then this, and then the other one can go on this end here. Yeah, I think that would be better, honestly. I honestly think that would look way better. So I'll probably fix that once once whoever moves in here. There we go. Yeah, I'll get rid of all this stuff eventually. Once uh, this shop goes away, I'll clear all this stuff. You're done with AC for tonight? Yeah. I, I'm close. I, I want to go to visit the island one more time before I, uh, before I end. Because I want to see if I can get another islander. Because then they would be moving into the house right beside Pietro, I think, right? Yeah, which Pietro's living in this one right here. And then whoever I ask to move in next will be here. Probably won't be sleeping due to a 10 minute. I got it. You got you have a lab to do a 10? Oof. Last minute. Keep keeping it last minute, I'm guessing. <laughs> I'll get rid of all this here. Wow, look at that. I'm getting a lot of, like, just plain wood today. I'm not, like, the softwood or anything like that. It's, like, I don't know what's, what's up with that. The softwood's actually been harder to get today. I'm very surprised. Um... You, sh you should know by now I never do anything on time. Fair enough. Are you heading off to Taka? Alright, Taka, have a great night. See you later. Have a good one. I'll be back on maybe Thursday for not only late nights, but also for an Animal Crossing afternoon stream, maybe. We'll see. But yeah. Have a good one. Go this way. I mean, we're just doing all the analysis. He's giving me all the, us all the data, but analysis, especially errors. It's kind of hard when we haven't actually done it. Well. <laughs> oh, I have. Oh, I'm using it right now. That's why. Okay. 
Um, I'm trying to think what I could do, honestly. Oh, I, I know what I can do. I was gonna, I was gonna try um, planting the tree, right? I think this will work, right? Let's see. Let's see if this works. It discounts as it. Oh, that doesn't count. Or do, or wait. Oh, it doesn't count. Ah, oh, that's dumb. Ah, lame. Okay, that actually does not count then. Well, I could try just putting an apple tree down. I guess that could work. That could work. How the fuck is it April? I know, right? It's wild. I can't believe it's April already, too. But when you're stored in your house all day, kind of just flies by, I guess. That's not a tree? What do you mean? That is a tree. What the fuck? What the fuck? That's not... It's not considered a tree? Ah, that's dumb. I have to actually get an actual tree sapling for that, it seems. Well, that's dumb. Thought I, I thought that would consider counting as growing a tree, because you're trying to grow a fruit tree. Fine. Alright. Has it not been the longest three months for y'all? I don't know, it kind of just flies by, honestly. Maybe I'm just because I'm old. I'm getting older. Maybe just days just feel like they just fly by quicker. I'll just go fishing, I guess. You're closer to 30 than 20. How do you feel? I don't know how I feel, honestly. I, I don't know, honestly. Doesn't feel like it. Matter. Even if you old, get older, time just flies by faster. I know I'm not 40 or anything, but still, though, when you get older, regardless, time just flies. I feel. When you're younger, th days feel longer in that. Nah, I've always felt that. But when I gotten older, I've noticed, like, days just fly. I feel like January took forever. February went by fast, and March is dragging out because of events. Yeah. Yeah, um... Yeah, I agree, actually, yeah. That sounds about right. Hey, Mr. Fish. Hey, another tire. Let's go. Does that count as catching fish? Let's see. Uh, no, it does not actually. Okay. Am I gonna do the bunny special? Probably on um, I'm on Thursday. I might. So I'm probably gonna do a uh afternoon stream on Thursday. 
Unlike today, I didn't do it. I didn't do an afternoon. I had stuff I had to do today. Went out for a bit just to fill up on stock for stuff, and then yeah, I was like, you know what? I want to. I'll do a stream after I eat dinner tonight. It's actually a good time to do one too. I felt. Uh, I feel like I've done a lot today in this game. Honestly, I. I invited a clown, a, a clown sheep to my live in my village, and uh, yeah, I, I done, I've done a lot today. I, I put a lot of fences up. I caught some more uh, tarantulas. I have, let's see, I have 122 uh, tarantulas ready to sell to flick whenever he shows up. So I'm gonna be. Bumping and bells when he pops up, and uh, I'll have to do the math on how much that's gonna be. I can't remember it on the top of my mind how much exactly it was. Like one tarantula would cost. Would he sells you for? Chop wood. That's easy. Can do that. Uh, it counts towards junk. Ah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Is that considered once, or is that three times? Let's see. That is considered three. Okay, cool. Cool. You gotta love it. Ooh, another uh, Persona butterfly. I know that's not what they're called, but that butterfly always reminds me of the butterfly from Persona 3. Not sure why. <laughs> it always looks like that, that same butterfly. Uh, right, I should probably put my... Uh, this here. Goodbye, Persona Butterfly. We will miss you. Yeah, after tonight, uh, that butterfly is going away. And it sucks because they sell for a pretty good price, too. Which is too bad. I need one more. There we go. Alright. Let's see. That's 150. Okay. T capture a memory. Okay. That's easy to do. Oh, that's a tiger beetle. Okay, let's see if we can take a picture of B. Let's see. I was reading about trees and stuff, I'm noticing. <laughs> That's her thing. Which is nothing wrong with that either. Let's do, uh... That. Cool. That's an easy photo. Alright. Hundred. Uh, catch a tiger beetle. Well, I can easily do that because I think there was one right over here. Unless he's gone now. Oh, he's gone now. Never mind. He disappeared, I guess. Spoke too soon. Yep. Yeah. Unfortunate. How much, actually, I even checked how much has been donated so far. 690 bells. Alright. Still a lot of way to go for that. Nice amount, yes. Nice. Nice. 69. Nice. Nice. Oh, 
Oh, okay, there's a sea bass. Why am I not surprised that's a sea bass? A fish that will never leave me alone. <laughs> in this game. Along with many other people. Dab. Dabbing on them haters. Yeah, I'm gonna move Bud's house as, as well. He won't be living there much longer at some point. Oh, 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 oh. Hold up, hold up. I need to get over there. To get that. If it's still there. Oh, it's on that side. What the? F there we go. Oh, it's up. Well, shit. Okay, that's not good. Well, actually, maybe. I oh, actually, you know what? Maybe I can actually get the one thing for it. Let's see. If I can get into the water, that'll be fine. Where's my slingshot? There it is. Hello, Creed Lord. How's it going? Can I hit that from here? No. Shoot. I'll have to get rid of this in a moment. Ah, shoot. There we go. Alright, can't be seen you later. I have a good one. Ooh. Nice. Okay, good thing I didn't let that go in the water. It was free money right there. It was twice I've, I've done that today. Back to back uh, balloons where I've gotten uh, that. No, my island's not open. I'm not doing any multiplayer. I'm just doing single player. I'm not going to be going too much longer though. Trying to, try to get Nook Miles to go to the island one more time. And then I was going to call it. So, I wasn't going to do too much longer. Regardless, I don't know how much I have right now. It's not even a thousand yet. Yet, no. Don't know if I'll get to that. That's okay though. If I can't, if I can't get to a uh, two thousand next couple of minutes here, I'll just uh, probably just call it. Um, actually, let me go put my money in the bank. Actually. How much was that? Was it 5,000 or 3,000? It's 5,000, okay. Well, I think I should head off so I can, can hate myself and regret my life decisions in the next four hours. Oh yeah, because you said you have to do your, your, your little project or whatever you said. Yeah. Yeah, I won't be going too much longer. I think I I think I might just be calling it pretty soon because I don't know if I want to grind for two thousand nook miles at the moment. Might be tougher to do than I thought. Might be harder than I thought it would be able. Because I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get anything done at the moment. It's all way too far away. For a lot of these. Not close to any of these at all. Flower tender. Wait, what's this one? Uh, if you sell your ion specialty fruits on the island... Oh, actually, I can get that one quickly. Hold on, let's do that. Let's do that. 
one of the grind. Alrighty, catch you later, Cold Sacks. Have a good one. Actually, this one's actually really easy to do. Maybe I can get a shit ton of uh, points right here, actually. If I can find any more apple trees, that is. Oh, there's one right over there. Cool. Explore. Yep. Okay. Grab a few more. How much do I have now? I have 18. Okay, that should be good. Should be good. Don't know if this will be enough, but if the how many points I'll get from this, but maybe, maybe potentially could be enough. Five hundred. Ah, uh, damn. Damn. Uh. Oh, I can just catch a few more fish here. Cool. That won't be too hard to do either. Just catch a couple more fish perfectly, basically. Comes the waiting for the spider to show. Nice one. Catch this guy. Hey, I got my loach. Cool. That's gonna give me some points. It's gonna be times. Ooh, almost there. Hey, I'll have enough. Cool, I'll close to have enough here. And if I don't get an Islander on there, this will be a waste of Nook Miles. Because then it'll, then it'll confirm to me that you can only get two Islanders a day on the island. If you go over there a number of times. This will confirm it for me. For sure. Unless some islands just don't have island uh, villages on it. Sir, I'd like you to pay attention. There we go. Alright, that should be enough points. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Alright, let's go print out a uh, Nook Miles ticket. Oh wait, hold up, there's another present. Damn it. <laughs> of course, this always happens. I'll be doing something and then I hear... Then I hear a present coming. Oh, cool! Another climbing wall. Let me go place that down real quick. Well, let me go to the, uh... Let me go to the, uh... Plaza real quickly, and then put that down, and then, then we'll head over there. Wait, are you an ape? Wait. Did the bugs change for you already? Damn. That is still the same for me. I've not seen anything new yet. Alright. 
We'll see if this was a waste of, of, uh, of Nook Miles. Probably was. I'm calling it now. This was probably a waste of Nook Miles. Which, whatever if it was. I'm just, I'm just curious to see. I'm, I'm just testing. I'm doing this just to test. Hmm, I wonder. Oh. Hey, check it out. I got a, I got you a lantern. Oh, thank you. As soon as I saw it for sale, I knew who it was really for. Yeah, hope you'll find some use for it. I definitely will. Thank you. Thank you, Flo. Thanks for the free gift. Let's see, okay. So can I put two of them right beside each other here? Oh, yo, it's a different color. Cool. Oh, hold up. Let's see if I can, uh... See if I can place the other one right here. Can I push this back? Nope. Yeah, that's fine. Put that right there, actually. Nice. We got two of them. Okay. Oh, is that the bug that floats on the water? I think I caught him already. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I got him. Let's see. I think I, when I was at duels, I think I got him. What the hell was he called? Giant water. Bug. Yeah, yeah, I got him already. What's up, Yoshi? How's it going? Alright, let's go, let's go experiment here. I don't know if we'll get another one here, but, uh, let's see. Might, if my, if, what I, if maybe I'm, I might be right here. I think, it's either, they may, they may stop you after a specific amount of times. I'm not here to get, uh, tarantulas. This is just to basically, uh, just to see. Okay. What island is this? Oh, it's the exact same one I was just on. That's what it was. Ah, okay. Well, that confirms my... That confirms it. You can only see two villagers a day on the island. That is... Okay, okay, interesting, alright. So now I know now. So, you only have two choice... You have only have two chances to find island... Uh, villagers on islands a day. That's interesting. Well, that kind of sucks, because that means tomorrow someone's going to take the land, which kind of sucks. Of the two houses I, I put down. Damn it, so I'm going to get randos that I don't want tomorrow. Or in a couple days. That sucks. I thought maybe you can get as many as you want, but no, no. It looks like... It looks like you can only get... Um... Two a day, I guess. Unless someone wants to check for me that that's not the case, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is, because, yeah, I, I, I saw two of them, called the one guy to move into my town, and then they haven't shown up after that, so... Which, they should be, because I have two spots open. And they're not sold yet, so... I don't know. Very weird. Can really watch the news? Yeah, if you're watching the news during all of this, that's gonna affect you. I would recommend not. <laughs> I recommend just stay away from watching it. My advice, at least. Doesn't do you any good. Yeah. 
Okay. I think on that note, that might be all. Let's just see what this lantern looks like. I think we might be done for today. Now we'll do. I'll put, I'll put the lantern right beside this Jaya right here. There you go. So it looks like you're working on things there, Mr. Gyroid. Uh, right, I was gonna put my 5,000 bells into the, uh... Where, actually, can I actually put these away? Oh, right, I can put those away now. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. So I'll have to decide who I want to move, whose house I want to move over here. And then I'll have to split this. Whoever moves here, I'll, I'll slide their house just slightly a little bit over there, over there, because I think I don't like it there. I'd rather have it on this side. But yeah, that's just me. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe once I see the house, maybe I'll like it. But yeah, I might, I might move it. Or I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, this is gonna move tomorrow, and then I can decide whose house goes there, and then, yeah, we'll have our shopping district over here. And I'm still looking for that freaking T-Rex torso for the, for the, uh, museum, and then I can put, get TX stuff again, and put it right here, because that's, that's gonna be the plan. And I think that will look really cool. That will look really, really cool, in my opinion. Is, uh... He's still moving in? Is Butch still moving in? I think he is. I believe he is. Yep. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get caught up on this here cleaning, so I ain't got the time to chat today. Come back to later. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye, doggy. Should I sell my fences? I do. Let's see. Or actually. We'll see. Well, I'll have to grind a lot of wood for this. But yeah, I think I'm done. I think I'm done for the evening. <laughs> Not really much else I can do. I, I hope in the next couple of days I get Flick, because I just want to show you. Look how many fucking tarantulas I have in my goddamn storage. <laughs> oh, I have this here too? You know what? Move that to my pockets. Look at all these, all these goddamn tarantulas I got. Living in my freaking attic. <laughs> I just want to shell them for a high price. Can I get a sign for my- Oh yeah, there's a, there's a recipe you can learn later on in the game. Or, there's a recipe you can learn. Um, I think a villager will just randomly teach it to you. And he can- and It's just basically just a sign. And you can put like any design you want on it. I haven't learned it yet, but I, I was showing that you can do that. So like, dude, that's sick. I want that. At some point. So I think that'd be cool. It's gonna be Kameha's <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Are you gonna put yourself in the middle of a wall, like in the middle of like surrounded by water? <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. And I need a turtle. Yeah, because then you can have like a pet turtle in your house, and you actually can walk around. If you, if you guys don't know yet, yeah, you can actually put a, a turtle, and you can walk around in your house, which is cool. 
He just, he just walks around. That's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. Let's see here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's look at my map here for a second. I hope he leaves. I hope, I hope he moves out of here. I don't want him here. <laughs> He can stay. So I'm gonna. So yeah, the decision is to either move Audi over, over on where Butch is, like a north ahead of Butch, or move Doc ahead of Butch. I'll have to decide on that. It's gonna put four or one, two, six houses on that one, and then, then maybe the rest can go like where Audi is around there. I think I might move Doc, actually. Yeah, I think I might move Doc by uh, whoever gets that top uh, right house there. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Oh, I think that's what we'll do. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll organize all the houses so they're all kind of around each other. So I think that'd be cool. I think that'd be cool. I think that would will be a neat thing to do. Let's turn off the light. There we go. And we'll pass out in my character's bed. <laughs> Yay. Alright, cool. Save complete. Cool, cool. <laughs> you have teddy sheets? I do. I, I, I customly made a bed and put teddy sheets on them. <laughs> Those might change though. I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I just did it because I thought it would be funny. What does he got? Wait, he's got he's got a bug on him. Have I seen that right? He's got fleas. He's got fleas. Hold on. Hold on. He's got fleas. I gotta go get him. <laughs> Hold on. One more thing. He's got he's got fleas. <laughs> now we totally need to get him out of our town. He's got fleas. Get him out of here, yep. Yeah. Needs that needs to get out of here. <laughs> he's harming the environment. Where is my net? Here we are. Where was he? He was over here, right? I don't have a flea yet either, so I gotta get him. I gotta get that. Oh damn it, now he's inside? Fuck! <laughs> damn it, now he's inside. Shit, okay. Never mind. Guess I can't get it. Never mind. Never mind. Showed him on the title screen that he had fleas. Unless, like, if I go, if I go inside his house, will he, does he still have the flea on him? Let's see. Let me see. No, no, he doesn't. Okay. Okay. I guess they have to be walking around for that to happen. Okay. I saw that and I was like, "Oh, I wish I could catch him," but I guess I guess not. Apparently, you can get like ants and all that stuff too, but you have to have like rotten food just sitting on the ground for a good while or whatever. So I'll have to do that at one point just to get ants and whatever. So yeah, he does, and they are very great. Oh, my bed sheets, yeah. <laughs> okay, now we'll save for sure here. I thought he would still be walking around, so I can go hit him with my uh, my net, but I guess not. That's okay. I can find a flea another time. I guess. Oh, 
But uh, yeah, guys, I think that's going to conclude today's Animal Crossing stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I think I'll do another one on Thursday afternoon before late nights. And uh, it won't be like as long as tonight. No, it's not going to be that long. It's probably going to be a shorter one. Probably like two hours, maybe. So we'll probably do a two-hour uh, uh, Animal Crossing stream on Thursday, maybe. And uh, yeah, if we get flicked that day, that's going to be great. Because then I'm going to have a lot of uh, tarantulas to sell. That would be pretty freaking amazing if I say so myself. So yeah. And uh, since today was my last stream for March, I just want to quickly give a quick shout out to all of our subscribers for the month of March. Um, so I'm going to thank the following people for the month of March. Thank you to Gradidos, thank you to P Co Paylord, thank you to Captain L Paladin L uh, Captain Paladin LP, can't speak here. Uh, thank you to Super Mutant 2099, thank you to Volano 00, zero or 007565, thank you to uh, Uber, thank you to Cyberfox, thank you to Zeppo, uh, thank you to App. Thank you to FD907. Thank you to Yoshi86up. Thank you to the Blue Explosion9000. Thank you to the De uh, Devilfish. Thank you to Dual Vision. Uh, thank you to the Random Reject. Thank you to Takata. Thank you to Chrissy Cool Cat. Thank you to the Magic Words. <laughs> thank you to Joshua 2K Twitch. Uh, thank you to Kippy. Thank you to Poco9091. Thank you to Taku Smash. Thank you to Blax18. Uh, thank you to Rasher24, thank you to Edgehead011, and thank you to Billy3802. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, guys, with that, um, like I said, we'll probably be back here on Thursday afternoon. Like I said, probably for a two-hour stream at best. I'm, I'm not going to probably do too much on that stream. Um, I'm just going to come on and just check the town and whatnot and uh, see if I can find anybody. Um, tomorrow, I'm on my own time, I'm probably going to see if I can find my villagers that I'm looking for. So hopefully someone goes to the campsite so then I can actually invite them. And hopefully it's somebody I'm looking for, because, yeah, I'm still looking for, like, two villagers in particular that I'd like to have the most, so... Especially Kid Cat. I'd be really disappointed if I can't get him, so hopefully the game has good RNG and actually gives him to me, because that would be great, because I want to put him in my town, because he's my favorite, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, um, if you're not here for the Animal Crossing stuff, I'll be back Thursday as well. And I'll be doing some late-night beatdowns. I'll be playing some ARMS in a viewer's choice game. Uh, ARMS is free right now for, uh, Nintendo members, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be playing that, so it should be fun. Um, so yeah, um, so with that, thanks to everybody for coming by, um, I'll find someone to raise. Oh! And thank you to Stavo45 as well for the 10 months, I appreciate that, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much, so yeah, and I guess thank you to Stavo for also subbing for the month of March as well, so I appreciate that. Even though it's officially April now for me, but, yeah. You get to be the first April sub, so poggers. <laughs> um, so yeah, so before I end, I'm just gonna find someone to raid. Just give me a second here. I'll host. I'll probably raid. I'll, I will give them a raid. Um, not host. I'll raid their channel. So just give me a second here. I'll find someone to raid. So give me one moment. And we'll find someone to raid tonight. Let's see who is on tonight. Who is on tonight? Hmm. <laughs> I think we will host up Shinky tonight. Yes, he's playing uh, uh, Trials of Cold Steel 3 over his channel. He's pretty cool. Uh, haven't raided him in a little while, so we'll go give him a raid. So, yeah. Uh, if you guys want to go raid him, uh, if you guys can, just copy the raid messages that you see here in the chat. If you were a sub, copy the top message. If you're not, just pop, pop uh, Copy the bottom message, just paste it in, your, in his channel, just let him send you guys over to his stream, and uh, that'll be awesome. You guys can do that, so yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, with that, um, I think I said we'll be back here Thursday afternoon for another Animal Crossing stream in the afternoon, um, and then late night beatdowns will be happening a couple hours right after that with some arms and the viewer's choice poll winner. So uh, the website will be updating in a few minutes here, so look forward to the poll when that goes up. So yeah, and uh, with that, guys, I Thank you very much for everybody for coming by tonight. Uh, definitely the longer Animal Crossing stream we've done. Probably won't be as long like this in the future. Probably just going to be shorter. But uh, I had a wanted to do a lot tonight, so that's the reason for that. So, yeah. Uh, but I appreciate everybody being here tonight. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for everyone who subbed here today as well. I appreciate that as well. So, And, uh, yeah, we'll be back Thursday afternoon for Animal Crossing. And then later in Thursday for late night. So, yeah, it should be good. So, until then, you guys take care. You guys have some great uh, uh, rest of your evening. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. So,